You're looking at downtown Dallas, Texas. They're ready for championship soccer tonight. Earlier this afternoon, indeed, the fans are ready, hoping the Dallas sidekicks can wrap up their second consecutive Continental Indoor Soccer League title. They're thanking the players for their efforts in 1994, and they are cheering. And this was this afternoon, so this town has been ready for tonight's game for a long time. And you are looking at a sold-out reunion arena. The crowd's still coming in. It is game three of the Continental Indoor Soccer Soccer League Finals between the Las Vegas Dust Devils and the Dallas Sidekicks. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Jetson, along with my partner Desmond Armstrong, and this place is pumped up, trust me. Remember, tonight, the winner goes home the victor with the Continental Indoor Soccer League Championship Trophy. It will be a very intimidating environment for the visiting team, the Las Vegas Dust Devils, a sellout crowd, Desmond. You played in environments like this. What must Las Vegas do to overcome the environment? Las Vegas has got to batten down the hatches in the first five minutes, allow themselves to get into the flow of the game. Don't get scared, though. Don't stay back there and allow Dallas to pound them. they got to come out and play the game. Broncos to go to their leader is familiar with championship games. He's going to lead the team. He's going to be the one that wants the ball. He's going to be the one that goes forward to get the goal. Okay, now let's take a look back at the first two games of this Continental Door Soccer League final series. Game one, simple. Dallas dominated 10 to 4 the final, 10 unanswered goals in that contest. But game two was a wild one at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. In overtime, Dan Barber nets the winning goal 10 to 9. So you see, Game two, more of an even game, but for the Dallas Sidekicks tonight, they try to wrap up championship number two in the uh, short history of the Continental Indoor Soccer League. Is there any chance they'll be overconfident playing in this building? I don't think so. I think the fans are behind them. They're pumped up. They're used to being in championship games. They are the champions, the previous champions. So they're going to want to hold on to that title. So they're going to come out here on fire. All cylinders burning. They're going to be on fire. All right, on fire tonight indeed from this sold-out reunion arena. We're coming back with more as we get set for Game 3 of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals. ISL on Prime is brought to you by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. When you're thirsty, it's got to be Gatorade. And by the new Volkswagen Jetta. I've played a lot of great courses in my life, and I'd like to think I've designed a few. But I've never played a golf course quite like this. Golf Magazine has introduced a 30-page monthly section called The Golf Course, a unique 18-hole editorial format that delivers more instruction, more features, more of everything. Reading Golf Magazine is like teeing off on a brand new course every month. That's why I joined Golf Magazine as special contributor. You can join Golf Magazine, too, for custom-tailored private lessons to help you score better. Call now and get absolutely free Jack's video, Playing the Percentages, an insider's guide to improving your game and managing the course for lower scores and more fun. Call now for a great deal on Golf Magazine and your free video. Jack, it's great to have you on the Golf Magazine team. Where should we look for you in upcoming issues? Where else? The golf course. You're watching HSE, the best team on TV. If you're like most women golfers I meet, you want to improve your golf game. There's no better, faster, more economical way than reading Golf for Women magazine and watching our free Back to Basics video. This free video will help you cut stroke after stroke off your short game. Golf for Women's Back to Basics, the short game video, gives you helpful hints for perfect putting, tips on bunker shots, advice on chipping, and more. It's sure to improve your game. Our video is free only when you subscribe to Golf for Women magazine through the special... Back in Dallas, Texas, Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong for Game 3 of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals. And this city is all lit up for an exciting championship game tonight. Moments ago, the Las Vegas Dust Devils got Remember, their final hey, instructions from head coach hey, Guy it's Newman. Important. It's a game of momentum. Remember, couple of goals, couple of goals go in against us. Everybody off to slow it down. Okay, stop the momentum. What we've got to do is make sure we don't let the game get away from us. If it's going through the game, if it's nice and tight, that's to our advantage. That's to our advantage. The pressure's going to mount on them. 
Guy Newman talking to the Las Vegas Dust Devils locker room as they get set to uh, try to steal this one away from the Dallas Psychics. Again, the series tied at one game apiece. All right, this is do's and don'ts, Mr. Armstrong. Well, for Vegas, they must start off strong. Again, batting down the hatches, but have some momentum, get into the flow of the game. Dallas power play, they have to be aware of because Dallas scored on all their power plays in the last game. Most of them, not all of them. And the matchup between Rusty Troy and Tattoo, a strength game, quickness against strength. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineups first for the Dust Devils. Brett Phillips in goal. Rusty Troy, Oscar Pizzotto at the back. Blanco Segoto, Mark Carlin, and Roderick Scott up front. For the Dallas Sidekicks, the defending champions, it's Joe Papaleo, Eric Dade, and Mike Towers at the back. Nick Stavro, Curtis Partain, and David Doyle up front. The coaches tonight in the tuxedo. Guy Newman, he's got his back turned to us, but he's the head coach of the Las Vegas Dust Devils. And for the Dallas Sidekicks, trying to repeat as CISL champions, the guy with the grin on his face, Gordon Jago. Look at the goalkeepers, Brett Phillips, who's performed very well for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. And Joe Papaleo, indoor veteran, his time in this game goes back, goes back to the early 1980s. Also joining us tonight, our broadcast partner downstairs, Craig Way. Craig, you're right in the middle of things. No doubt about it. And in fact, Dave, you said it earlier, intimidation certainly could be a factor. This crowd of over 16,800 gets very, very noisy for sidekicks home games. Las Vegas will have to overcome that mentally. The sidekicks are looking for a mental boost out of it. Fellas? Uh, thank you, Craig. Herb Silva, Gino DiPolito, and Rene Ortiz are our officials tonight. Las Vegas Dust Devils in the white jerseys. Dallas in the purple plate and simple. The winner tonight is the champion. Herb Silva, as I said, Gino DiPolito, and Manuel Ortiz Sr. The officials for tonight's contest. This game is a sellout here at Reunion Arena. Tell you how much it's a sellout. There are scalpers outside trying to get 100 bucks a ticket. That's been the situation here in Dallas. Every one of these seats was paid for, Desmond Armstrong. This is not a crowd that was papered with cop tickets. Every seat has been paid for. Every seat. And I'm sorry I didn't get, I gave my tickets away because I'll be out there <laughs> scalping a couple myself. We could give it a lot of trouble for that. Tattoo, the fantastic one, running onto the ball, but it goes off the top of the dasher boards. And it'll be a kick in coming up for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. What a series this has been. It goes to three games. The final tonight. Again, Dallas won the championship last season, the first year of the Continental Indoor Soccer League. The only other title to Dallas's credit was in the 80s, 1987, when the Sidekicks were in the major indoor soccer league. Las Vegas, an expansion franchise. Mark Curlett on the ball. He made a big difference in game two. Yeah, I think that Dallas is going to be aware of him in this game, but he's got to have a big game to match up with Bronco Sagoda and then get some goals and some combinations. Roderick Scott keeps it alive for the Dust Devils to get in the white jerseys. Now Rusty Troy will track it down. That's who you were talking about. We'll look for his matchup on Tattoo tonight. Long ball played to the corner. Mike Powers chases. Eric Dade heads it down, though, for the Dallas sidekick. And right away, Las Vegas has come out strong early, but look out for the counterattack. This is Tattoo. He's got David Doyle. The shot saved. Brett Phillips. Good save by Phillips to cut off that angle. Great ball by Tattoo on the corner, though. Legs flying and a foul on Nick Stavro with the Dallas sidekick. And it'll be a free kick for the Las Vegas Dust Ever. Vegas does well to shut that down and don't allow a goal. They're still in the game, obviously. They're really pumped. Tariq Walker now for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Gets it back now to Tommy Crane. Crane sends one, knocked away by Dev Reeves. Battle for the head ball, Tommy Crane. It's called for the foul. Right away, the official's calling a tight game, which is good to see. You want it decided on the field and not the penalty box. Most definitely, but just stay intense. Just because the refs are calling the fouls doesn't mean you have to let up in intensity. Long ball, Dave Reichardt chest traps it down. Reichardt looking for space is chased back into midfield. Tattoo now. Should point out the Dallas sidekicks in the history of the CISL have never lost two games in a row. So for Las Vegas, to accomplish the championship tonight. They're gonna have to hand Dallas its second defeat in a row. So a tall order indeed for the Dust Devils as Tattoo, the CISL's most valuable player, steps off the carpet and will have a free kick coming up now for the Dallas Sidekicks. Dave Reichardt, the road runner, he had speed to the Sidekicks, puts the ball in play. Back to John Hedlund. Defender has had a good series so far. Reichardt working the corner. Draws two defenders to Dave Reichardt. Reichardt keeps it alive, digging in the corner. Somehow he managed to keep that alive by himself, but Rusty Troy sweeps away for Las Vegas. Did very well to hold the ball in the corner against three defensive players from Vegas. Very skillful player, a workhorse. Expect to see him on the ball a lot. Giampaolo Pedroso, he had a big game one. Nice ball in the middle of the shot! 
Curtis Partey is wide right. Oh, another great save by Phillips. He's on the mark tonight from the beginning. And we're still a foul, a free kick coming up for Las Vegas. So right away, you look at Giambolo Pedroso. You made a good point about him getting more involved in this game. The second game, he was almost invisible. But in order for Dallas to be successful tonight, he has to get involved. And again, that's just it. You can't rely on one guy like a tattoo or David Doyle. The save for Las Vegas, they cannot rely on just one guy like Brock Segundo. You need Mark Curlin and Dan Barber involved in the offense as well. Well, it is a team game. But you need the leadership from those outstanding players first and foremost. If they're on the game, then it makes it easier for the rest of the players to come and raise their level. All right, Las Vegas with some defensive miscommunication, and Brett Phillips sends it into the superstructure of the scoreboard. So free kick, John Hedlund will take the shot, and right there on the line, Brett Phillips, as it was almost redirected in by sidekicks defender Gus Castaneda. Now Castaneda comes the length of the field. Ball back to Joe Papaleo. Again, if you're new to indoor soccer, four 15-minute corners. Here comes Rusty Troy, the ricochet, in the box, the shot by Castaneda, Papaleo, the save! Long ball upfield, and well, Eric Dane with the foul. Dino DiPolito, he's a veteran. You remember him from your play days, Desert Armstrong. Yeah, very good official. He knows the game. He's been around for a long time, and he's going to be out there to keep control of this championship series. Dan Barber with the touch on the ball. He scored the winning goal in overtime the other night in Las Vegas. Joe Babaleo snares it for the Dallas sidekicks. David Doyle, he's got tattoo. Everyone's standing up. The shot off the crossbar. Oh, you hear that crowd? They're into oh, it. Man, they're getting up again. Big day, uh, big weekend of this town. The Texas OU game at the Cotton Bowl, and now the Psychics go for a championship. Here comes David Doyle. Oscar Rosano ruffles him up. Back at the Deb Reeves. Reeves will take the shot. The ricochet. Mark Curlin will bring it up to the Las Vegas Dust Devils, and we have a two minute penalty coming up. Gino DiPolito away from the ball makes the call. Way to keep your cool. Give us time to work, David, huh? Way to keep your cool. Call called on number eight. Danny Packer gets called. Two minutes for tripping. Two minutes for tripping. So a power play. Now Dallas is only converting 36% of its power plays in the playoffs, but they had some success in game two after a slow start in game one. Had a lot of success in game two. Most of their penalty minutes and power play opportunities were goals, or free kick opportunities were goals. So for Vegas, they have to really get tight, pressure every ball that comes in their area. All right, Dallas plays a man up. So the team of the purple, man advantage, and this building's going to get on their feet. Nick Stavro. For the next two minutes, Dallas has the man advantage. Tattoo the shot. Phillips, the save. Roderick Scott, the header. Tattoo with a high kick to keep it alive. David Doyle now. They play the song Money Money here in the arena. Tattoo for the Dallas sidekicks. Rusty Troy intervenes for Las Vegas. Can't clear it. David Doyle, now two men up. Doyle, the shot. Phillips, Day, the turnaround. Across oh. the goal mouth. Unbelievable. Look for Dallas to knock the ball around the perimeter. Looking for the open shot. David Doyle! Tattoo jumps into the fray. Back to Nick Stavro for the Dallas sidekicks. A minute eight left on the man advantage. Tattoo, the cross, knocked away by Rusty Troy. We have 10-19 left in the first quarter. Vegas is playing great defense. Indeed, and here comes Roderick Scott. The Dust Devils may have a breakaway. Roderick Scott stays with it. Danny Barber going after it as Nick Stavro stood up Roderick Scott. 49 seconds, man advantage for the Dallas sidekicks. We're in the first quarter. You look at that stat. Tattoo. Tattoo gets space. Nick Stavro the shot. 35 seconds, man advantage. Tattoo. Back to Stavro. He gets the shot. It's blocked by Rusty Troy. Otherwise, that was goal bound. Yeah, it was in the far corner. Rusty Troy is right there on the back post, ready to block it out. Tattoo steals it from Danny Barber. Tattoo for Dallas. Here come the sidekicks. Tommy Crane's on him. 14 seconds on the power play. Tattoo trying to create space. It's run off the ball. Rusty Troy now. Troy gets around David Doyle. Takes the shot and almost buries it. Not a bad effort. He was one against four. Didn't have any help. Decided to shoot. Teams at even strength. Transition time, though, always dangerous. Tattoo. 
the cross. Brett Phillips right there to cut down the angle. David Doyle, the blistering shot, blocked by Danny Packer, who just came out of the penalty box. John Hedlund steals it from Gary Young. Brett Phillips knocks it around the board. Gary Young will have to be more careful in the defensive third for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. And this crowd is still standing, Desmond Armstrong. Anticipating a goal. Whistle and a foul. And Giampaolo Pedroso. Two minutes. Two minutes as well. All right, I heard Gino DiPolito, the official, say to some of the players after he called the foul on Danny Packer of Las Vegas, he said, fellas, I'm going to call it tight. Let's look at the foul in the corner. Two against one. A little pushing and shoving against the boards. And the referee's right there. Gino's oh, yeah. right yeah. there. Well, see, you know, you applaud the referee. So far, he's been even. He's setting the tone. Now the players have to respond. As long as it's even, you as a player probably appreciate that. Yeah, as long as he's calling it fair on both ways. Because I tell you, if I get fouled and doesn't call it, then you get jazzed. Yeah, I'm going to get jazzed. Is that the term you use, jazz? Well, I'm just trying to, you know, be hip. Doesn't that... You sounded hip. I sounded hip there for a second, yeah. I'm glad well, you're starting to loosen up here, buddy. <laughs> Guy New with the head coach of the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Two-minute power play now for the team in the white. Las Vegas. Again, this series tied at one game apiece. This is game three of the CISL Championship Series. Mark Curlin. Curlin on the ball. Back to Roderick Scott. Rocco Segura, the shot. Segura comes for the rebound. And he puts it off the glass. Vegas is three of nine on their power play situations. Rusty Troy now for the Dust Devils. Mark Curlin blocked by Nick Stavro. Let's see if they can better their mark with this power play opportunity. Dan Barber. Juking in the corner, back at the Bronco Segona. He looks a lot better than he did in game one. Most Danny Barber, Mark Curley, the shot behind Papaleo. Oh, so close, off oh. the boards. Look at Segona running after the 50-50 balls. Game one, he was hampered by a hamstring injury. He's looking strong, he's looking like he wants the ball. Danny Barber wins it back. A minute six left on the power play. The offense comes through Bronco. Las Vegas with the man advantage. Roderick Scott now to Rusty Troy. Troy looking for Barber for a post. But swatting at it, Joe Papaleo. Long ball upfield. Rocco Segona. Could have been a dangerous play had uh, Eric Day not been going off for a line change. Yeah, most definitely. A missed kick, hits off the board, and then he's in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. All right, Roderick Scott. Rocco Segona. 35 seconds power play. We are 7.20 left here in the first quarter. Mark Curlin at the post. Knocked away by Mike Powers of Dallas. Las Vegas, again probing, trying to go up. We have a nil-nil game. Bronco Segona takes the shot. Dead silence suddenly. Roderick Scott, look out in the crowd. And a throw-in coming up for Joe Babaleo. Again, there are no goal kicks in the CISL. And we have an official timeout on the field. So, so far, a tight game. Nil-nil the score here in Dallas. The sidekicks and Dust Devils. We're coming back to sold out Reunion Arena. Don't move. Back in Dallas, Texas, Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong. No score at the CISL championship game. We're also joined by Craig Way, the mayor of Dallas, Texas. Craig is downstairs. Craig, what do you have for us? <laughs> well, Guy Newman certainly won't win any popularity contests around here. Very angry with the officiating crew and also saying that he wants his team to take advantage of the power play here. They got 15 seconds to do that right now. Time running out on the man advantage for the Dust Devils. All right, thanks, Craig. Craig was at the Texas-Oklahoma game earlier at the Cotton Bowl and raced through traffic to make it here. And he's glad he did, I'm sure. And we're so happy to see him all. I know. I was feeling a bit lost without my boy Craig down on the sideline. I tell you what, this town is definitely uh, decked out for the Texas-Oklahoma game. We're staying at a hotel with a bunch of Oklahoma supporters, and chances are they're not going to be too happy tonight when we return because, uh, in case you missed it, Oklahoma did lose. Dallas has the man advantage. 15, or rather, Las Vegas has the man advantage. 15 seconds left on the power play to Las Vegas. Again, the Dust Devils are the team in the white. Dallas in the purple is Gordon Jago, the head coach of Dallas, looks on. And they whip this crowd up into a frenzy here at Reunion Arena. A sellout crowd here tonight, 16,000 plus. As the sidekicks try to repeat. These are the games you want to play in, though. 16,000 fans cheering for you, or even against you. You just want to be down there on the field. I was just going to say, the dynamic works as well for Las Vegas because clearly they don't need a wake-up call, and they've played well so far. Yes, indeed they have. 
David Doyle for the Dallas sidekicks. The shot rattles the glass. Here comes Mike Powers. Five seconds on the power play. Danny Barber, the five, the sweep, the clear. Could be trouble. John Hedlund, Mark Curlin collides. Now John Hedlund on the ball for the sidekicks. In the corner, the ricochet. And Brett Phillips comes up with it. Teams at even strength. Breakaway Las Vegas, Brock Segoda. Eric Dave comes on. Poked the head to Danny Barber. He scored the game winner in game two. Back to Tommy Crane. Vegas does well to hold on to the ball as they were going forward offensively. Not to go all the way down, but to maintain possession by bringing it back out like they've done here. Brett Phillips. Now Oscar Pizzano. Pizzano under heavy pressure at midfield. To Doug Borgel. Borgel trips over Gino DiPolito, the referee. He's just telling Gino to get out of the way. <laughs> and now a trip on the part of Danny Barber. And two-minute card. Dan Barber tripped up Nick Stavro, and the two-minute card comes right away. So the referee's consistent so far, Desmond Armstrong. Yeah, they're consistent. As we look at the foul here, Danny Barber lunges forward for the ball. He's going for the ball. He's a little bit late, obviously, and he clips the player. I don't think it was an intentional bring down because he was going for the ball. But the referees are trying to maintain control of the game. So uh, this has been a physical series, and it looks like this game may not reach those physical heights we saw in game one and game two because the policing a little bit stricter. So this is the third power play. When's the last time we saw this in one quarter? I don't think we've seen it yet. I don't know. I'm looking for the stat man to tell me. <laughs> We're trying to dig that up. Dallas, the team of the purple, has the man advantage for the next minute 46. Las Vegas trying to kill off their second power play of the evening. And that'll make you tired in a Jimmy Quick hurry. Eric Day, Brett Phillips. Oh, Phillips is Dane. on fire. He's off the mark so fast. Gary Young, here comes Gary Young. Short-handed goal in the making, perhaps. No, says Joe Pavaleo. Herb is on top of right here. Yeah. Two-minute penalty. Yep. For jo now, well, that was for Pavaleo, I yeah. think, for pushing down Gary Young. Handball. Let's listen to Herb Silva. Yeah. Handball on the goalkeeper. Uh, he said handball the goalkeeper. I, I think he also kind of gave a push to uh, Gary Young. Let's take a look at it. Gary Young. Going to try to play it past him against the board. Yeah, yeah there was the handball. Clearly. Oh, yeah. There's the push. But, <laughs> but before, you, it, you called it. I called the push, but the handball is a great camera shot. Well, this is the push, the second thing, but the handball is what caused it. So that was clear. And I see some of the Dallas players complaining about that, but... Credit Herb Silva, the official, as they'll look at a replay when they watch this game again, and it was right on. So we have a shootout situation for Bronco Segoda because the goalkeeper used his hands outside the penalty arch. The Dallas fans jumping up. Herb Silva, the official, wants somebody in the box. Giampolo Pedrosa will serve the penalty. Now, if Segoda makes it, it's back to being a power play for Dallas. Rocco Segoda for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. They can put the visiting team up on top. Here comes Segoda. The shot. It's in the net. Oh. It's in the net. A goal for the Las Vegas Dust Devils as it nicks the woodwork and finds a home in the net. That was perfectly placed. If you want somebody to take a penalty shot, Situation, you want Broncos to go to. He's got all the skill in the world as he displayed right there. So 1 0, the visiting team, the Las Vegas Dust Devils, go up on the Dallas sidekicks. Taking a look at this replay, Papaleo comes off his line to cut off the angle, but Sagoda puts the ball past him on his left hand side, hits the post, and goes in. Great look from behind here. He bends the yep. ball in. A nice banana kick. You know how you bend it past the goalkeeper in the net as you look from up top. Wings around him. Bam. And this is now the third straight game in this three-game series that the Las Vegas Dust Devils have scored first. And I tell you, what a matchup that was. Two veterans, Bronco Segoda and Joe Pavaleo, the goalkeeper for Dallas. Unfortunately, Joe gets the shorter end of the stick on that last shot. 5.20 left in the first quarter. Gordon Jago... It's a long game, buddy. Now, there seems to be some confusion down on the field. And I think maybe the confusion stems around whether Pedroso gets to come out of the box or not. 
Yeah, you may mention the fact that if Vegas scores, then Dallas goes back to a power play situation. Well, that was my understanding of getting Danny Barber's off for the next minute 24. Because of the penalty he committed, the tripping penalty, Dallas had the power play when right. the handball occurred on Joe Pavaleo. Right. So instead, Dallas is down to four, Las Vegas is four. Oh, Here no, comes no. David Doyle for the Dallas sidekicks. Doyle, the shot is oh. in the net. It's in the net. Oh. Look at this replay. Doyle takes it down the side of the boards. One on one with the goalkeeper. Inside the right foot to the far post. Back in the net. And he is on fire. Check him out. The eyes of the scorer. Clearly he beats his player. One on one with the goalkeeper. He goes straight for the goal. To the far post. Right past Phillips. Phillips does well to come out and try to cut off the angle. But David Doyle. All right, we got more controversy here, though. 1-1 one, one game, but David Doyle has been set to the penalty box. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's go down to Craig Way. Craig, what's going on? Well, Dave, what happened was after David Doyle scored the goal, he went over to the penalty box where Las Vegas was. There was a heated exchange of words on both sides, and Doyle has been sent for a misconduct to the box for two minutes. It's a war now between these two, a war of words at the moment. All right, so the Las Vegas Dust Devils... Mark Curlin running onto the ball. Nick Stavro. A head down to Dave Reichardt. Here comes Reichardt, the Dallas sidekicks. Reichardt for the sidekicks. Rusty Troy. Right to the Whoa. net. Right to the net. Right guard down the same path as David Doyle. Toe pokes it right past Phillips in the back of the net. Takes a full run. Russell Troy cuts him off very well, but he toe pokes it in the back. Even if he missed it, Dade was right there at the far post. All right. So with 4.45 left here in the first quarter, the Dallas sidekicks have now reclaimed the lead, or taken the lead, I should say, 2-1. to one on the Las Vegas Dust Devils. From that man right there, Dave Reichardt. Like I talked about him earlier, he's an all-purpose type of guy, defense and offense. Dave Reichardt, again, using that speed, and he just toe pokes it in the back of the net. And look at this crowd here in Dallas. Two to one the score. Soccer is alive and well in Dallas, Texas. Let's go down to Craig Way. Craig? In the penalty box, as we mentioned, is David Doyle right now. He is still pleading his case, and David's got to be really careful because he is borderline to drawing more than just his misconduct time in the box right now. Still angry with the call, and he went over for a war of words. Fellas, I have never seen a Dallas Sidekicks team as fired up as this one is right now. Back in 86-87, when they won their first indoor title, they weren't supposed to win. And by the way, that was the last time they had a sellout crowd for a championship series game. This is a team of veterans. A lot of pride here, and they're pretty angry about it. Of course, Vegas has some veterans. Number 20 standing in the center of the circle, the most veteran of them all. All right, Craig Way, we got the best vantage point in the house. So the Dallas sidekicks lead 2-1 to one with 440 left here in the first quarter. Brett Phillips for the Dust Devils, the goalkeeper, sweeps it upfield. Joe Papaleo snares it. Now, the other way, here come the Dallas sidekicks once again. And Paulo Pedroso trying to get free, knocked away by Rusty Troy. Eric Dane. Back to Nick Stavro. So Dan Barber is still in the penalty box, even though Dallas has scored two goals, Desmond Armstrong. That's a, a bit puzzling right now, because right now it's still four on four soccer, but in a, about 15 seconds, it appears Dallas will have the man advantage. Oscar Pizzano for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Gets it back to Brett Phillips. Phillips launches it. Sagona heads it back as he was punched in the back by Eric Dade. So Las Vegas, they played well. 
But they have to get back in this game as they're down two to one. Well, for Vegas, it's a matter of getting the ball, taking some of the speed out of Dallas by trying to get a goal. Push forward a little bit more often, get some shots on goal, follow up the second and third balls, winning 50 50 balls, and then they're back in the game. All right. And the fans are out. So actually, yeah, the Las Vegas Dust Devils have a power play for the next 19 seconds. I think I just said it the other way around. It's Las Vegas with the power play for the next 19 seconds. Roderick Scott, we're going to have a flurry of penalties here in the first corner. 2-1, Dallas in the purple leads. Scott to Mark Curlin. Curlin turns. It's blocked by Mike Powers. Curlin, another opportunity. Knife through the penalty arch, but it's cleared away. That's what we're talking about. Winning those 50-50 balls, challenging every bouncing ball that's out there in order for Vegas to get back into this game. They're not out of it by any means. It's a long game, but they get a goal immediately. 3.22 left here in the first quarter of play. Las Vegas trails 2-1. to one. Roderick Scott trying to create space. Mark Curlin now. Dave Reichardt helps out on defense. Curlin trips him up. And it'll be a free kick. And right away, everyone was looking for the card, and yet another penalty. Yeah, any foul that goes down there is two minutes right now. We have had three penalty situations plus a misconduct given to uh, David Doyle. In fact, David Doyle still out of the game as we look at the replay. Curlin takes him down, looking for the ball, but just kicked the leg, and he was on the turf. All right, the Las Vegas Dust Devils in the white. Bronco Segoda. Dallas closes down on defense. I think finally we have teams at even strength. Bronco Segura nods it down. Mark Curlin tries to make the turn. Nice work, but he's triple team. Yeah, we talked about the fact that Dallas would be aware of him this time in this game, so they're going to have more than one player on Mark Curlin. He appeared to be one of the big differences for Las Vegas as they won game two of the CISL Finals. 10-9. They foul on Las Vegas. A free kick coming up for Dallas. 2.41 left in the first quarter. Game three, the winner of this game, wins it all. The Lawrence Trophy on the line. Curtis Partey in the ricochet, looking for Giambolo Pedroso. But now here comes Mark Curley. He gets it stolen away, and here's the roadrunner, Dave Reichardt. Look at the speed. Here he comes, Reichardt for Curtis Partey. Partey trying to control it. Half volley. Wow. That could have dipped, Desmond. Yeah, the beauty of indoor. Giampolo Pedroso, save, Brett Phillips. The beauty of defense. John Hedlund, tough one for Phillips. He handles that size four CISL ball. Now ahead to Bronco Segoda. Segoda gets into the penalty arch, but there's Joe Papaleo. Pap, quick off his line. Unfortunately for Bronco, hits off his shin, rolls right to Papaleo because he had the man beat. Joe Papaleo, the veteran. Works back, lofts it up, Rusty Troy, the header for Las Vegas, a kick in coming up for Dallas. This entire game is going to be a dog against dog fight game, Gordon, back and forth. Gordon Jago making the save. You were mentioning that because clearly I think Las Vegas, as David Doyle runs to the bench and gets some applause, Las Vegas has probably gotten over the toughest part, the opening moments in a building like this. Pedroso the shot. Yeah, definitely. Once you get past the first five minutes, this game is just like any other game. Whistle and a foul on Dallas. Chris Hayden, I believe, with the trip. Easy. It's, it's Danny Barber. Easy. Herb Silva, you see him yelling easy as he's trying to back off. Keep the uh, tempers cool. Everybody's looking for a two-minute penalty every time you go down now. <laughs> well, there were some quick whistles tonight that uh, maybe we have not seen another situation, but certainly uh, perhaps the significance of this game playing a role. Tariq Walker on now for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Looks like Dallas is double teaming the man with the ball almost every time there. Yeah, especially when the ball gets to the corner. That's where they can win it. Challenge two players to one man. Doug Borgel, Borgel with the cross. Headland clears it for Dallas. Danny Barber, Oscar Pizzano, the shot, it's in the net! It's in the net! Beautiful finish by Oscar Pizzano, and we have a tie game, 2-2. Like we said, this game's gonna go back and forth. Vegas is going to get some goals. Dallas is going to come back and get some more. Vegas gets some goals. Dallas is going to come back and get some more. I sense a trend developing. Sounded like one, didn't it? Let's look at it again. Pizano takes a first-time shot here. Papaleo's on it. Allows a soft goal. He knows he should have had that one. But the ball comes to the side. Full volley out of the air. And just skips past Papaleo into the corner. And he did well to control that. Did Oscar Pizano. So 2-2 the game. 104 left here in the first quarter. Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, and Craig Way in Dallas, Texas. 
Danny Packer running out of the ball for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. He's boarded by Dev Reeves, and there comes the card. Well, it didn't take very long to pull that blue sucker back out. So, Las Vegas will have a man advantage for the next two minutes, and that's the last minute of this first quarter, 54 seconds left in the opening minute as Dev Reeves goes off. It's a great opportunity for Vegas to go up by two goals. By one goal, I'm sorry. Look at the assistant coach for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. John Kennedy and Ian Fulton. That's Ian Fulton. Ian looks really good in that bow tie, man. It almost looks like Guy Newman up there. Yeah, looks sharp. Dev Reeves. Off for, for two, two minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oscar Pizzotto. So the team in the white Las Vegas, man advantage. But who knows? Here comes Dave Reichardt. Well, the most demoralizing thing is when you're in the power play, you have the extra man, and you allow the defense to get the ball and score on you. So for Vegas, they have to be aware that once they lose the ball, they have to get back quickly to regain possession of it. This is the fourth power play situation here in the first quarter. The Muslims don't do that in an entire game. 26 seconds left in the quarter. Rusty Troy, the ricochet. Eric Dade will bring it out. Dade upfield. Just skips past Dave Reichardt and Brett Phillips now. Ahead to Roderick Scott. Scott for Bronco Segoda. He's knocked off the ball. Seven seconds left in the quarter. Rusty Troy back to Brett Phillips. And I don't know will do it. So, wow, 15 minutes of indoor soccer in the books here in Dallas, Texas of Game 3 of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals. 2-2 the score. Just what we promised. What of excitement. We're coming back. Why get only half the workout on an ordinary treadmill when you could get a total body workout? Introducing the incredible new WalkFit from Nordic Track. WalkFit's unique design lets you exercise your upper body and lower body at the same time. You get a fast, effective, total body workout that burns up to 1,000 calories per hour. Whether your goal is to lose weight, tone muscles, or relieve stress, you can do it all with the WalkFit Total Body Treadmill from Nordic Track. WalkFit gives you a 53% greater cardiovascular workout than on ordinary treadmills, and you can burn up to 79% more calories. And WalkFit has no motor. It's safe and easy to use. Unlike motorized treadmills, you control the pace. There's no herky-jerky starts and stops. Call our toll-free number now and receive a free information pack video and full-color brochure showing how you can get started on an enjoyable exercise program you'll stick with. Don't settle for half the workout when you can get a superior total body workout with Nordic Tracks WalkFit. Call today and get a 30-day in-home trial and two-year limited warranty. After all, it's from Nordic Track. Fight night! Fight night! Fight night! At the Forum! Out. Tuesday night on HSE. This free video shows you how Bowflex lets you outperform Nordic Flex and Solo Flex. Call for yours right now. You need to see this free video. Bowflex lets me perform the strength aerobic workout I want in 20 minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and it makes my body feel incredible. There's simply nothing else like it. You can change the amount of weight you're using by adding more power rods. The cable pulley system accommodates 64 different exercises. It's even backed by a lifetime warranty. If you're like me, and at first you looked at machines like Soloflex and Nordiflex, you've got to see what Bowflex can do for you. It simply produces results. Call right now for this free 15-minute video. It will show you exactly how Bowflex will let you outperform Soloflex and Nordiflex. You'll be surprised at how effective Bowflex really is. If you want to see the easiest, most effective way of exercising at home, you need to see this video. It's absolutely free, so call for yours right now. Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, back in downtown Dallas, Texas. After one quarter of play, it's the Las Vegas Dust Devils 2 and the Dallas Sidekicks 2. Game 3, the final game of the CISL Final Series. Take a look at the numbers from the first quarter. Look at that. Uh, eight penalty minutes for Dallas, four for Las Vegas. So that's a bit of a surprise in the first quarter alone, Desmond Armstrong. It just shows you the intensity of this championship series. Both of these teams are out here to win it. They know this is the very, very last game. Win it, and you're the champion for the rest of the year. All right, let's go down to Craig Way. Craig, what do you got? 
Well, Dave, a couple of noticeable points. First of all, the sidekicks seem to be a little bit back on their heels, especially with all those power plays you brought up. Secondly, Las Vegas very loose. Down here in the well, you can hear Guy Newman talk to his guys. A lot of smiles. They feel very loose. After all, with all of these fans here, they're not supposed to win, are they? They don't believe so. What a tie Craig Way has. That tie was sizzling, doesn't it? Yeah, I was checking it out. I mean, you. Uh, we're a little envious of Mr. Way. He didn't even try to hook us up, man. Yeah, I mean, how did he get the tie? There's the bow tie of Guy Newman, the head coach of the Las Vegas Dust Devils. I guess they have to wear it down near the bench, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It will certainly stand out with that tie down near the bench. All right. For the next minute and five seconds, Las Vegas, the team of the white, will have the power play. Dallas in the purple, though, try to come on the attack as they have the kickoff of the second quarter. And Tommy Cray will help bring it up for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. 2-2 the score. Las Vegas, Desmond, has been here since Tuesday to get acclimated to Dallas and to be ready for tonight. Well, they want to make sure that they got down here, got some good training, and the mindset was there. Broncos are going to curl it. Here comes Rusty Troy, but it's cleared out by Eric Day. We should point out this game being played on a Saturday night in Dallas, Texas. You see 31 seconds left on the Dust Devil power play. Roderick Scott for Rusty Troy, headed away by Dave Reichardt. 20 seconds left on the power play. Rusty Troy wins the ball back. Roderick Scott. Scott trips over the ball. Bronco Sagona knocks it away. This power play may be for not. They don't hurry. 10 seconds. Roderick Scott directs, directs traffic. Scott behind Mark Curlin. Four seconds power play. Danny Barber for the Dust Devils. Teams in even strength. Rusty Troy, the shot, blocked by Mike Powers in traffic. Not a bad attempt by Rusty Troy to shoot from long range. And here's Deb Reeves just out of the penalty box for the Dallas sidekicks. Reeves can't get the cross, but actually Stavro saves the day. Nick Stavro for the sidekicks. 13-36 left second quarter, the Dallas sidekicks, the defending champions. We are at Reunion Arena in Dallas, Texas. John Headland and Nick Stavro. Stavro in the corner, Tattoo jumps to the fray, but Gary Young shields him. Tattoo gets it back. It's going to be a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, Brent Phillips for Las Vegas is able to handle it, if you're a Dust Devil fan. Here's Mark Curlin. Curlin, the shot. He was looking for a post. Yeah, I was looking for a post, and it was just wide. What a blistering shot that was. Yeah, yeah. David Doyle lofts it for Tattoo. Tattoo chested down. Tattoo, Brent Phillips the same. Brent does a good job of cutting the angles. He's been playing very well, off the mark from the very beginning. He's very sharp tonight. Mike Powers surveys. Good ball into the yeah, corner. Pretty ball for Tattoo, but he's quickly double teamed. Gus Castaneda. Now to Danny Packer. Packer under some pressure. Danny Barber. Look at the Dallas defense collapse on the man with the ball. Both teams are playing very strong defense. Danny Barber, though, maintains Joe Papaleo. Oh, now put it into the Dallas night. Headed down by Tommy Crane of Las Vegas. Hopeful ball that's intercepted by Eric Dade. David Doyle now for the Dallas sidekicks. Doyle for Tattoo. Two against five. They need some more Dallas players to come on up. There it is. Maintain possession, knock it around a little bit. Eric Dade blocked by Gus Castaneda. Danny Packer goes up for the header. Packer does well to challenge for that ball and actually win it. Long ball for Castaneda. Joe Papaleo's out. Papaleo ends up in the glass. And then Papaleo pushes Castaneda. We got some bumping going on again. Dave Reichardt. For Tattoo, he was tackled from behind by Gary Young. Now Tommy Crane wards Tattoo off the ball. Again, it's a dog fight down there. This is the championship game. Tattoo going for the 50-50 ball. Roderick Scott trips up David Doyle. And the bodies are flying. Good call by the officials to allow the play to go on. Dave Reichardt steps in front. Brett Phillips uses his hands. Clearly outside of the uh, penalty arch. Oh my goodness, that was missed. Tariq Walker. Tariq in the corner. Papaleo snares it. Joe Papaleo snares it for the Dallas sidekick. 11.06 left here in the second quarter. 2-2 the score. Dallas in the purple, tied with Las Vegas. Danny Packer wins the ball back. Good hustle by Packer. Now Roderick Scott. Scott trying to get free, looking for Packer in the penalty arch. And this game is going end-to-end. -end. Dave Reichardt, Oscar Pizzano 
steps in front of right guard, goes back to Brett Phillips. Both teams are playing very well in both directions, offensively and defensively. Once they lose the ball, everybody's on defense. Once they gain the ball, everyone is on offense. 10-34 left as Rusty Troy puts it into the penalty box. 2-2 the score. It's Manuel Ortiz. The third official handles it. Ball played in. Rusty Troy knocks it away for Las Vegas. Now Danny Barber for the Dust Devils. Ahead to Danny Packer. Packer back to Barber. Barber gets the cross. Doug oh. Borgel. Borgel into Borgel. the net. What a goal. Doug Borgel puts it in the net. His first attempt off the crossbar. But he puts Vegas in front, 3-2. to two. He shows you that persistence pays off. The first shot was a very good shot. Hits off the boards, bounces back, and he volleys it out of the air. So Doug Borgel is fired up. Let's take a look at it right here. The first attempt, first touch off the cross boards. Waiting for it to come down, and a full volley in the back of the net. That wasn't easy to execute either. No, not at all. Very well positioned. For Borgel, his third goal of the championship series. Oh, clean shot right there. Look at net cam with Joe Pavaleo's facing tonight. No thanks. Doug Borgel. Want to make sure I got that right for Doug Borgel. Doug Borgel. 10-16 <laughs> left. Eric Dade and then Curtis Partey now. Dallas, this is the uh, second time tonight they've be, been behind in this contest. Actually, the third time. They've been catching up the entire night. Yeah, that doesn't bode well with them, especially because of the second game that they lost. They were coming from behind to catch up. The whole game in game two, which yeah. Las Vegas won. Dan Barber now on the ball for the Dust Devils. So Vegas has got to gain more and more confidence as they continue to hold on to the lead. Brett Phillips knocks it upfield for Tariq Walker. Now Mark Curlin heads it down, back for Walker. 9.41 left here in the second quarter in this sold-out reunion arena. Walker trying to get a move on Eric Day to the purple. The cross to no one in particular. And now Giampaolo Pedroso. Pedroso, though, has to chase back into the defensive third. Dev Reeves for the Dallas sidekicks. Dan Barber comes up with it. Foul on Dev Reeves. Free kick, Las Vegas. The crowd has been silenced, and I didn't think that was possible, Desmond, because they were partying outside Reunion Arena before this game started. Well, yeah, the tactic is, if you can get out there and get a lead against the home team, the crowd has no factor in the game. Rusty Troy, Mark Curley going for the follow-up. Deb Reeves. Yeah, this is a sold-out arena. Every ticket sold for this contest. And a free kick coming up for Las Vegas. In Las Vegas in the white, Dallas in the purple. Look at Herb Silver. What is that, Fuchsia? Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Fuchsia. And, uh, oh. well, we've got a little bit of a problem in the corner. So, uh... Go to your benches! My time! That's gotta be Official fixed. timeout. As they're gonna have to fix the, uh, the, the joint that keeps the plexiglass in place. I guess Papaleo needed something else back there to help him out on defense. They did make an adjustment to the glass here at Reunion Arena. And, uh, perhaps... The adjustment caused a little bit of a problem with the joint. That is a joint, right? What do you call that? A little, the thing that holds the stuff together? A, a joint. joint? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's called a joint. It's not Dave. good on hardware terms. Dave, it's a joint. 9.04 <laughs> left here in the second quarter of play. We have an official timeout. The Las Vegas Dust Devils 3, the Dallas Psychics 2. It is championship soccer on Prime. Come on back. We never used to exercise. We didn't have time to go to the gym, and it was impossible to find a quality strength and aerobic machine that we could use at home. So we found Bowflex. Bowflex lets me perform the strength and aerobic workout I want in 20 minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and it makes my body feel incredible. There's simply nothing else like it. You can change the amount of weight you're using by adding more power rods. The cable pulley system accommodates 64 different exercises. It's even backed by a lifetime warranty. If you're like me, and at first you looked at machines like Soloflex and Nordiflex, you've got to see what Bowflex can do for you. It simply produces results. Call right now for this free 15-minute video. It will show you exactly how Bowflex will let you outperform Soloflex and Nordiflex. You'll be surprised at how effective Bowflex really is. If you want to see the easiest, most effective way of exercising at home, you need to see this video. It's absolutely free, so call for yours right now. 
It was the most bizarre thing. All of a sudden, we plummeted 8,000 feet below the Earth's surface. And then there were these talking camels and kings and queens. The elevator didn't go up or down, but sideways like that. And then I said, Bill, look, those people, they're floating. And then there was this, this light, you know? And you could see it all the way from outer space. It's different on the inside, too. Luxor, get into it. Scratchman here to show you how much fun it is to play football fever. Ready, girls? Okay! Football fever! Football fever! Rah! 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 Play it just for fun and win! I'll be right back. Play Football Fever, the newest scratch game from the Texas Lottery. Deep in the heart of Texas, Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, and Craig Way sold out Reunion Arena Game 3 CISO Finals. And the visiting team leads 3-2. to two. Bronco Segona, the shot for the Dust Devils. Now Oscar Pizzano, Las Vegas in the white, Dallas in the purple. The uh, corner boards have been fixed. Eric Dade. Intervening Gary Young. Young has a breakaway. Young the shot. It's in the net. Oh. It's in the net. Goal Vegas and suddenly a two-goal lead. You talk about taking the crowd out of a game. There it is right there. Up by two goals now. Vegas over Dallas. Wow. Four to two. Remember, we didn't think we'd come back to Dallas. Young has the ball. He has some open space. He looks up. Decides I'm going to shoot. Far post. In the back of the net. Unchallenged. As we talked about game one, Dallas dominated game one, 10 to four. But that said, Las Vegas is kicking alive. Let's go down to Craig Way. Craig? Well, Dave, during the summer, Gordon Jago really wanted to get Mike Powers back, who was taken by Las Vegas in the expansion draft. He was finally able to work out a deal after much wrangling, and it went down to the final deadline, but he got Powers back. One of the guys he gave up, the man who just scored for Las Vegas, Gary Young. Ah, uh, yes, ironies of all ironies, and now they're getting the crowd back into it here in Dallas. Tattoo marked by the aforementioned Gary Young. Whistle foul, free kick coming up for Dallas. Well, in order for Dallas to get back into this game, you need the ball to be on this man's foot. Tattoo, again, a leader, a superstar. The CISL's most valuable player, 60 goals this past season. Averaged 2.40 goals per game. 67 assists, he could do it all. And when he's not scoring, he's usually dishing the ball off and setting up the goal. Mike Powers runs over it. Tattoo the shot. Tommy Crane right there to clear it away for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. 8.27 left here in the second corner. We are in Dallas, Texas. Danny Packer steps in front of Dave Reichar. Las Vegas tries to form a bit of a counterattack. Joe Papaleo, though, will control it. But forced to pass it away to Tommy Crane. Now Roderick Scott for the Dust Devils. Dave Reichardt, watch that blazing speed, Reichardt. Gary Young clears it. Reichardt, dummy by David Doyle, John Hedlund the shot, blocked by Crane. And now Crane will sweep it away, kick it coming up for Dallas. Say, Crane doing yeoman's duty at the back. <laughs> He's getting battered back there in the corners. So an official timeout again here in Dallas, Texas. The Dust Devils on top of the Dallas sidekicks, four to two. And perhaps a, a bit of surprise as uh, Las Vegas comes storming into a sold-out reunion arena and has a two-goal lead. Craig Way is also with us, and he is downstairs. Craig? Well, Dave, we were talking about the fact that Gary Young went over to Las Vegas in that trade so that Dallas could get the man they call Mr. Defense back on the field, Mike Powers. But there are former sidekicks on this field, including, as you pointed out earlier in games one and two, Roderick Scott, a member of this Dallas championship team a season ago. It's Kind of a veteran thing as we talked about for Las Vegas, the fact that they can have Roderick Scott, Mark Kerlin, and of course, the incomparable Bronco Segoda on this team. Dallas has never beaten a Bronco Segoda-led team in the championship round. They're trying to do that here tonight. All right, Craig Way still with the snappiest tie in the building, and he points out that Bronco Segoda had some glory years with the San Diego Sockers that used to frustrate the Dallas sidekicks. And look at the, some of the action we just saw. Tommy Crane under pressure, does what he has to do. Clears it, but he gets kicked down, flipped up in the air, and on his back. I tell you what, and those boards, we were out there today kicking the ball around. They are unforgiving. That's solid plywood. 
Yeah, run into it the wrong way, you're gonna break something. And unlike the hockey players, no pads on these guys. Tattoo for the Dallas sidekicks. 7.52 left in the corner. David Doyle, Brett Phillips to save. Phillips has actually played very strong tonight. Defense in front of him has played very well too. Phillips, the outlet, they're calling for a handball on Doug Bordell. No call, and now Dallas works into the crowd. Here they come in the game again. Dave Reichardt, it's blocked by Rusty Troy. They really work on Reichardt in the corner. Now Tattoo comes up with a loose ball. John Hedlund, the shot. Say what, Rusty Troy might be my defender of the series, Desmond. Play very strong, capable of going forward and staying back and playing defense. Two on one, Bronco Segona. Tommy Cray, the shot, it's in the net! Oh my goodness! Wow! Tommy Crane with his first goal of the championship series. And suddenly it's five to two. And if you want to write a book on how to take a sellout crowd out of the game, Vegas is scripting it. Again, as we look at the replay, Bronco Zagoda, the man that gives the ball to the side, Crane keeps it low and hard through the legs of Papaleo, and a goal. Bronco was drawing two players, defensive players, to him as he passes it over to Crane. Crane puts it in. Couldn't ask for a better shot. Picture perfect. We should point out Las Vegas in the regular season, the only team to beat the Dallas Sidekicks in this arena. And they did it the final game of the year, 9-8 to eight before with 13,000. So you can tell that they're not intimidated at all. They came out here ready to play. Giampolo Pedroso. The Dallas Sidekicks in the purple, the defending champions. This was supposed to be their coming out party tonight, and right now Dallas has fallen behind. But if you know indoor soccer, you know about the crazy mood swings. And this happened to Dallas in game two, and they came back, almost won it. Mark Curlin with a turn for Vegas. It's blocked. Yeah, it's a long game. Anything can happen. Vegas has to stay on top of it, though. Again, challenge every ball. Brett Phillips clears it upfield for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Tariq Walker, but Eric Day puts it onto the feet of Mark Curlin. Eric Day gets into the fray again for Dallas. Tough defender. All right, here we go. Nick Stavro. Stavro to David Doyle. The shot. Phillips is out. The follow-up. Good save by Phillips. Leg save. And then he got up. He closed off the angle once again as Doyle tried to shoot it one more time. Bronco Segona comes upfield. Segona to Danny Barber. Barber with Pavaleo out, the goalkeeper for Dallas. Doug Borgel, the shot. It sails. Bronco Segona now controls it. Another opportunity, but Pavaleo scoops it up. Pavaleo doing a good job there to get off the line very quick and hold on to the ball. Put his team on offense. Dallas leads this, uh, trails this contest 5-2 to two behind Las Vegas. Nick Stavro, the low header, as Dallas tries to sort things out at midfield. And the ball placed into the bench, so an example that things are not in sync right now for Dallas. Yeah, a true example of it in that Tattoo is not really being able to get the ball into the corner where he likes to get it, spin turn of play and get a shot off. He's been very quiet. Dead silent for Dallas fans. In fact, Brent Phillips, long ball. Segona, the header. Mike Powers chest traps it for the sidekicks. Doug Bordell. Intervenes for Las Vegas. The shot coming up by Roderick Scott, but Pavaleo the save. Tommy Cray dumps into the corner. Mike Powers trying to get it out of there. Roderick Scott keeps it alive. Back to Tommy Cray. Roderick Scott with 4.58 left. Looking for Segona. Powers the header for Dallas. Now here comes the sidekicks. Eric Day. Trying to use the boards. And Roderick Scott gets behind. Again, Vegas' defense is playing so well. Getting back, cutting off the space, and challenging every ball, winning every 50-50 ball. Back to Rusty Troy. Should point out Guy Newman is the son of Ron Newman, head coach of the San Diego Soccers, who has won 10 indoor titles. Doug Borgel puts around the boards. Guy trying to go for numero uno. And keep the dynasty in that family. In the family, yes, indeed. Tattoo now for the sidekicks. Tattoo! Tattoo! Rusty Troy the block! Brett Whoa. Phillips the save! Good play, good play by Troy. First the block and then the headed back to his goalkeeper. Coming out at halftime, the president of the Dallas Sidekicks, Norm Sanju, is also, of course, the general manager of the Dallas Mavericks. Mark Curlin the shot, as you know, many 
CISL teams affiliated with NBA and NHL clubs. Dallas, one of them. That's Las Vegas and White. I'm going to say that's very good for the league also in that they have strong owners. Well, it's the marketing, and you see it here tonight with 16,000 paid in attendance. Tariq Walker, Tariq Walker, but he fouls. Commits a foul. And a free kick coming up for the Dallas Sidekicks. Bit of a mismatch down there in the corner in that Tariq is so much stronger than Reichardt. The ball bounced off the wall. He pins him as he allows the ball to come past him. And the strength of Walker. That was just a tap down. on Tariq yeah, Walker's part, but it... Uh, he just breathed on him yeah. and he fell over. <laughs> he big is boy. a big guy, Tariq Walker. Six foot five inches. Danny Packer, nice ball for Danny Barber. Barber now. Dan Packer. Packer spin around tattoo on defense. Hayden. The tattoo. Vegas is playing so strong defensively. Once they lose the ball, they're getting everyone back. So there's no seams for Dallas to really get into. There aren't enough players really moving forward for Dallas on the offense. So you don't see them getting more you don't see them getting a lot of opportunities with shots on goal. 2.45 left here, the first half of play. Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, Craig Way in Dallas. Championship soccer. The CISL title on the line. Rusty Troy sweeps it away. Nick Stavro, the blistering shot, but Brett Phillips the save. Yeah, great save by Phillips. The shot comes from out of long range, and he's right there to block it out. Mike Powers now for the Dallas sidekick. Long ball upfield, tattoo. Tattoo, Gus Castaneda pins him against the boards. Free kick, Dallas. And Tattoo gets up screaming that. Well, they have to make the most of this free kick opportunity. Get some of their momentum back. All right, Tattoo. David Doyle, the shot behind. Doyle, the follow up. Ooh, close. Mike Powers for Nick Stavro. Stavro, the shot behind again. Tattoo, the follow up. But Rusty Troy there for Las Vegas. Troy has been on the mark tonight. Taking Tattoo out of this first half, and also covering for Phillips' as goalkeeper. Tattoo, you can sense the championship tension. Tattoo, the ricochet. Here come the Dallas Chargers, but Las Vegas able to handle. And now, in fact, the breakaway in the making. Tommy Crane maintains, despite the pressure by Eric Dade, Nick Stavro. He does well to hold on to the ball after he mistrapped it. I don't think he knew where he was. Las Vegas trying to come on the attack. David Doyle spinning around. Look at that. Takes down Doug Bordell as Bordell. I think Doyle is frustrated by the rough play that he received. He goes down. And he goes back to Brent Phillips, and that'll get the crowd. The difference in this game is Vegas, when they lose the ball, they're on defense. Everybody gets back. Bordell had it in the corner. He loses it and runs back to challenge David Doyle. Oscar Pizzato. And I think their uh, official, Herb Silva, it's called a timeout, apparently. It'll be a kick-in for the Las Vegas Dust Devils as the ball sailed into the uh, Dallas bench. 103 left here in the first half. Las Vegas in the white jerseys, Dallas in the purple. Las Vegas, surprisingly, leads 5-2. to two. Dallas, the defending champions, trying to win it at home before over 16,000. Roderick Scott and puts it into the seats. And it'll be a throw-in coming up for Joe Papaleo, the Dallas sidekick. Greg Way is downstairs, and as we head to halftime, he will try to get with Guy Newman, who has to be very pleased right now, the head coach of the Las Vegas Dust Devils. 48.6 seconds left in the first half of play. Oscar Pizzato, the header. Doug Borgel sends it up the right flank. And now Joe Papaleo, it's a tricky ball. He collects it, but just barely. And they call a handball on Papaleo. That's the second one tonight for Papaleo. That'll be a power play situation. Actually, a shootout, first of all. So Las Vegas gets their second shootout. Nice way to go into halftime if they can capitalize on this shootout. And a yellow card issued to Joe Papaleo. Herb Silva just saying he was way out. So this is the second time tonight. I don't think there's any doubt as we uh, take a look at the replay. What do you think? Well, that's close. He's out of the box, but 
as he's catching the ball, he puts his feet right back on the line. So close call. Well, a shootout. On will be just a power play situation. Wait a minute here. Somebody needs to get to the box for Dallas. They haven't assigned anyone for that. 37.6 seconds left. Now David Doyle's going to get into the box. So the last time we had a handball out of the box, we had a shootout situation. Right. This, time, this time we don't have a shootout. I'm bewildered here. So that's, that's a bit confusing. Why no shootout? Uh, it may be the degree. Maybe they thought it was an unintentional handball. Although, the free kick, Rusty Troy, it's in the net! Rusty Troy makes it 6-2! to two. And here in Dallas, speaking of bewildered... They couldn't ask, Vegas couldn't ask for a better situation than this. So score with 38 seconds left. On a free kick opportunity right here, the ball goes back, Troy knocks it in. Unchallenged, as he has a free shot on goal. Rusty Troy from Brock and Segura. And let me tell you, from a defensive perspective, it's hard to get over there to the ball when it's traveling so fast. Dallas tries to get over to cut off the angle, but Troy knocks it in. Team's back at even strength for the remaining 30 seconds. Tattoo, Doyle comes in, Brett Phillips is down. Swept away by Rusty Troy. Now Eric Day goes after it for Dallas. Heads it to Mark Curlin. The shot. Papaleo the save. Good save by Papaleo. Curlin was right there as the ball is, is attempted to be headed back to the goalkeeper. He wins it out of the air. Volleys it. Rusty Troy now for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Six seconds left in the first half of play. Two seconds. He'll just take it. And that's it. The first 30 minutes in the books. So Dallas at home in front of a sellout crowd has to find a way to come back if they want to celebrate a championship in front of the home folks. Las Vegas taking full advantage of every opportunity tonight. And they now lead this contest six to two at the half. Craig Ways downstairs with head coach Guy Newman of the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Craig? All right, Dave, and uh, you've got to be pleased to say the very least done maybe your team has played excellent in the first half uh, we, we, we've done what we set out to do and uh, we know it's not over yet and we just got to make sure we keep our composure and, and don't let the momentum change and uh, it's going to be a battle the second half have you changed your defensive strategy on tattoo you've taken him completely out of the game well we, we know what to do with tattoo but it's very hard to do it because he's such a great player but, but right now it, it's been effective but uh like I said, it was only one half. We're, we're going to get ready now and get ready for the second half. Okay, good luck in the Thank second you. half. Guy Newman, head coach of the Las Vegas Dust Devils, back up as we go upstairs to Dave and Dez. All right, thanks, Craig. And we're going to halftime here in Reunion Arena, Dallas, Texas. The halftime score, the Las Vegas Dust Devils, six. The Dallas sidekicks, two. Come on back. Do you forget everything if you don't write it down? Well, you need MemoMate, the new electronic notepad that's as fast as you speak. Don't forget your 2 o'clock appointment. And it never forgets. Don't forget your 2 o'clock appointment. New microchip technology makes MemoMate smaller than a business card and featherweight. Honey, don't forget to pick up the kids at 4. It's great for busy schedules, too. Don't forget to pick up the kids at 4. Put it on your key ring and you'll remember everything. Blue section, row 15. You can use it to remember where you parked. Blue section, row 15. Or use it to remember directions. Right on Oak Street. You need a memo mate. Right on Oak Street. Left on this microchip technology could cost you $199. But now, get memo mate for just $19.95. So don't forget, call now. Don't forget, call now. Have your credit card ready and call 1 800 826 1100. 1 800 826 1100. Or send check or money order to this address. But for faster delivery, call now. 1 800 826 1100. You're watching HSE, the best team on TV. Now, Golf Digest, the number one magazine in golf, introduces something guaranteed to lower your score. Eight ways to a better golf game. It can help you experience a game you always knew you had inside of you. A game that can make you better off the tee. Better out of the sand. 
better on the green. Better all around. Experience the game that's inside of you. Get the eight ways to a better golf game video. It's guaranteed to improve your game. And it's free with your paid subscription to Golf Digest. That's right, free. If you think you can do without it, think again. Order 12 issues of Golf Digest for just $19.77 now. And get the latest video free. Call 800-592-1222. That's 800-592-1222. We are enjoying beautiful Dallas, Texas, site of Game 3 of the Continental Outdoor Soccer League Finals between the Dallas Sidekicks and Las Vegas Dust Devils. You see the halftime score against the skyline. The Dust Devils on top of the Dallas Sidekicks, 6-2. to two. Dave Johnson back at halftime, pleased to be joined by the general manager of the Dallas Sidekicks, Norm Sanju. Many people may also know him from his responsibilities with the Dallas Mavericks, but let's talk about the, the Dallas Sidekicks, Donald Carter's involvement, your involvement with the Sidekicks team. It really has been a Dallas success story. Well, it really is fun for us to see a crowd like this tonight. We'd love to see our team a little bit more competitive because they've had a great year and, in fact, a great two years. But uh, I saw this game in 1984, was extremely impressed with it. I went to the All-Star game in Kansas City of the old MISL. I told Mr. Carter about it. We bought the defunct New Jersey team, brought it to Dallas, and uh, it's just been a love affair with the city. We are just so grateful. The kind of players you have in this league, Dave, they are just the most wholesome good guys to be with. Uh, we just think this league probably makes the most sense because now they're kind of tied in with the basketball and hockey franchises, which I think is the best way to do it. What about the move to the summer, as you just pointed out, because it seems like you're able to get more exposure in the summertime, and obviously people like to come indoors, even though now we're in the fall. Well, I tell you, it, it works so much better because you get Saturdays and, and Sundays and fri Fridays. The problem is this, during wintertime when you have hockey and basketball, it, you just don't get the dates. I think this is really a weekend kind of a sport. And it, 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 we just love it as a family sport. Like a lot of the Maverick season ticket holders bring their families to this game. It's, the, it's such an easy game to understand. There's a lot of scores. It's not like the outdoor game at all where it's one to nothing. I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of shots on goal, and it's, it's a very American kind of a game. Probably the only mistake is the name soccer because it's really more than soccer. It combines much of hockey, part of the post play of basketball, and, of course, the feet play of, of soccer. And you mentioned the, the family situation here. I mean, every time we've been here at Reunion Arena, I mean, it's just a good time out for everyone of all ages as we see right here. Well, we always try to have a lot of kids involved at halftime, and we try to make it a fun place to be. It's a wholesome place. We have good security. We, we make sure the food is hot, and we serve them well. Uh, we have a lot of color in the arena. Uh, the, the scoreboard, of course, we try to do everything we can to make that scoreboard very entertaining. On the whole, it, it's an exciting thing. It's just a shame we're not scoring a few more goals tonight. You know? I love the police escort, by the way, at the, the beginning, the introduction. Let's talk about the Continental Door Soccer League. Recently, the Board of Governors meeting, including some, some big news. We know another NBA owner is coming in in Seattle, but also talk about Mexico City. You're not bad having the largest city in the world involved in your league. Well, we played there the first basketball game in the history, I should say basketball, the first NBA game in the history uh, of, that, of that nation, and that was last year. We, we played the Houston Rockets. It was terrific. It was like 20-some thousand people. Now, remember, basketball is a game they don't really know. Soccer is a game they really know. I think it'll be a wonderful success story. They've got a, a much bigger arena than they have down in Monterey, and so I would think it'll be a tremendous addition. Seattle's now coming in. I know I've talked to, to Charlotte because I just would love them to come in this league, and I want to talk to our other owners, too, because I just think it makes so much sense. You keep your staff sharp in the offseason, too, doing things for the soccer, getting ready for the basketball season. And, and I think it's a very, very nice marriage. And we see the All-Star game. Detroit had a great season. The Detroit Neon under the Pistons ownership. Also Houston vying for an All-Star game. The Houston Hot Shots just down the road or up the road or south of here, wherever it is. Also had a very successful season. But the Dallas Psychic, certainly an anchor of the Continental Indoor Soccer League. Norm Sanju, best of luck. And for your sake, we hope the team does better in the second half. Well, we need a little better second half, but it's fun for the fans. I like to see them go happy. Thanks so much. Okay, Norm Sanju, the general manager of the Dallas Psychics. We are coming back with more at halftime here in Dallas, Texas, deep in the heart of Texas. It's the Las Vegas Dust Devils 6, the Dallas Psychics 2, as we take a look at the nerve center of this broadcast. <laughs> Rock, the biggest, the wildest collection of party rock hits ever issued.
Animal Rock. 22 of the hottest rock hits ever recorded. Over one full hour of non-stop party music for just $9.99 on compact disc or cassette. Audition other great classic rock albums. Satisfaction is guaranteed. You know you make me wanna keep my heels up and talk. Throw my hands up and talk. Throw my head back and talk. Animal Rock. Call now. To order Animal Rock, call 1 800 425 7755. That's 1 800 425 7755. Or send $9.99 for one double length cassette or one compact disc. Plus $3.50 shipping and handling to Animal Rock. 551 Richmond, Virginia, or call 1-800-425-7755. in the nighttime as we come back at halftime the Las Vegas Dust Devils with the lead on the Dallas Sidekicks 6 to 2 game 3 of the CISL final Dave Johnson back with my partner Desmond Armstrong as we take a look at some of the highlights for the first half of play and once again as they did in the previous two games Las Vegas scored first it was on a shootout Rocco Segoda he's the leader of the team he came forward took the shot passed Papaleo in the back of the net but the Dallas Sidekicks would go up 2-1, to one, but not for long. Here comes Las Vegas again. Pisano strikes the ball full volley out of the air. But Papaleo gives him a soft goal. Oscar Pisano to make it 2-2. Two, two. And then Vegas in the second quarter of play started to pull away. Look at the breakaway. Bronco Segoda finds Tommy Crane. Segoda finds Crane on the far post. Crane puts a lone hard right past Papaleo. And then on a free kick situation from the corner, Brock of Segoda, watch Rusty Troy top of your screen. Boom, back in the net. Nothing else you can say about that one. That's my line back in the net. Anyway, we're going to come back with more here in Dallas, Texas at halftime again. The score as the teams come on the field. The Las Vegas Dust Devils 6, the Dallas Sidekicks 2. We're back with more. Hi, everybody. Kevin Eschenfelder in the clubhouse. Time now for a Southwest Airlines sports break. UT and OU going at it today at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Gerald Moore gets the Sooners on the board. Second quarter, a 23-yard run by the former Houston Yates product makes it 7-0 Sooners. Third quarter action. Freshman James Brown starting for Shea Morantz. Can't find a receiver. Takes it in himself from nine yards out. Texas leading 10-7. In the fourth quarter, again, James Brown. Nice play fake. He finds Pat Fitzgerald wide open in the end zone. 17 to 10 the score. We go to 43 seconds left in the ball game. Fourth down and goal. Oklahoma from the four. James Allen is denied by Stoney Clark. The big hit preserves the victory. Texas has won five out of the last six in the Red River rivalry. I'm Kevin Eschenfelder in the clubhouse. It's been a Southwest Airlines sports break. We'll see you tomorrow. Back at Sold Out Reunion Arena, Dallas, Texas, the halftime score, Las Vegas 6 and Dallas 2. Let's take a look at the first half statistics and numbers from this Game 3 of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals. Las Vegas just barely out shooting Dallas. Pretty even, go pretty even game in shots, but Vegas is up by two goals. And look at the penalty situation, a lot of penalties, and it's really hurt the Dallas sidekicks. Well, it's championship series. They want this game bad, both teams. All right, let's go downstairs to Craig Way. He's with Gordon Jago. Hey, down here with the Psychics head coach. I know the fans are shocked. How is your team responding to this? Yeah, they're disappointed. You know, we started off quite well, had a few good chances, and we didn't take them. But all credit to Vegas. They've taken almost every chance they've had. We're not coming and back. And they've, uh, they put us, you know, we've dug ourselves a bit of a hole. How do you... hey, 30 minutes to go. It's up to us. We've got to pull it back one at a time, be patient. And uh, it's going to be a hole, but you never know in this business. How do you get Tattoo and David Doyle back into this game? Well, again, you know, we've got the ball up to them, but we haven't got the support. They've been able to double-team them, and we haven't been able to get the ball out to uh, other players. We've really not got enough people forward when it mattered. But uh, hey, we've, got, we've got a hard battle on now, but we've got 30 minutes to prove whether we're good enough to be champions. Okay, thanks for the time. Good luck, Gordon. Thank you. Sidekicks coach Gordon Jago. Let's go back up to Dave and Dez. All right, thanks, Craig. We're coming back to Sold Out Reunion Arena for the second half. Again, the Las Vegas Dust Devils 6. The Dallas Sidekicks 2. The winner takes it all. Your 
watching HSE, the best team on TV. If you've ever struggled with a handheld trimmer, you'll love this revolutionary new kind of trimmer on wheels. Just look how easy it rolls on those two big wheels and glides in any direction on this front-mounted mobile. It's perfect for trimming around rocks, along fences, buildings, sidewalks, and in all those hard-to-reach corners. The new DR is also a mower. It cuts tall grass, waist-high weeds, even wet grass and rough areas with never-before ease. There's no steel blade to bend or dull. You'll just love what the DR Trimmer Mower can do for you and your property. Call toll-free 1-800-592-1222 for your big free package all about the revolutionary DR Trimmer on Wheels, plus special savings now in effect. That's 1-800-592-1222 for free DR details. Back in Dallas, Texas, Dave Johnson and Desmond Armstrong at the half. The Las Vegas Dust Devils lead the Dallas Psychic 6-2. We are ready for the second half of Continental Indoor Soccer League action on Prime. The Las Vegas Dust Devils in the white, the Dallas Psychics in the purple. We're also joined tonight by Craig Way. He is downstairs for all the action. Dallas's Eric Day knocks it into the Dallas Knight. Now a header. And the Psychics with a tall order, Desmond Armstrong. What do they have to do? Well, they have to come out here and play. Gordon Jago said it. They have to prove that they're the champions. They're at home. The crowd's behind them. And it is a lot of time in the second half. Also, you got to get Tattoo involved in the offense. And then secondly, guys like Giampaolo Pedrosa, who really was a big key in game one. Yeah, you make a good point. He was a, a major factor in the first game. But all of these players have to come out here, lift their game to get the team back into it. Brett Phillips on the ball now, the Las Vegas Dust Devils goalkeeper. Dallas really has to push forward. Knocks it upfield. It's headed away. by Bronco Segoda. And a slow pace to uh, start the second half of this contest. Curtis Partey now on the ball for the Dallas Psychics. Partey. Back to Mike Powers. Now Nick Stavros. The Dallas Psychics try to wedge their way back into this contest. Eric Day to Deb Reeves. Yeah, they, Vegas is closing off all of the seams, so it's very hard for Dallas to get in get the shots off, and then follow it up. Tattoo, the fantastic one. CIS, the most valuable player. Takes the shot, Phillips, the save. And again, that was one of your do's and don'ts, one of the keys to the game, that matchup between Rusty Troy and Tattoo. Rusty Troy of Las Vegas. Rusty having the better of Tattoo in the first half, but again, this is the second half. It's almost like a new game. Roderick Scott down to Tommy Craig. Roderick Scott blocked by David Doyle. A long second half to come. Good Tariq challenge. Walker, the shot. Doug Borgel, the chest. Joe Pavaleo finally grabs it. And Tariq Walker gets called for a foul. That was almost a body goal. <laughs> Indeed. I don't know how Tariq Walker got to that ball. And then Borgel was there. He should have headed it in. But Pavaleo comes up big. There it is. Left foot off the crossbar. Borgel gets bumped. He couldn't really get his body on it. And then Papaleo comes and he gets it. Tattoo down for the Dallas Sidekicks to David Doyle. Doyle, the shot blocked by Roderick Scott. The shooting lanes and passing lanes are closed. Yeah, Vegas is playing great defense. Challenging again every ball, every 50-50 ball, not giving Dallas any room to breathe. Tattoo looking for room. Dan Packer comes in to help out. And Las Vegas in the white wins the ball. Roderick Scott. Long ball upfield into the corner. Tommy Cray, Borgel was right there. Right there, but it skips past him. It was a little quick, and it had a lot of spin on it. Well, that's tough. That size for a ball, it spins. It moves, definitely. As you found out earlier today. Not with much success, I'll add. My ankle was bothering me as we were playing. That's my excuse for this week. But uh, our producer, B.J. Ariola, was having a big guy time game. He was laying them in the back of the net, yeah. not to tell you. He was like the man. Sell out crowd here, Reunion Arena, but they were rocking before this game, but an uneasy silence right now for Dallas Sidekicks fans. Dan Barber now. Bronco Segoda. Back to Oscar Pizzato. Looking for Doug Bordell off his foot. And here comes Joe Pavaleo. Bordell's had a good game. He really has. A lot of hustle. 
Oscar Pizzato gets back as Pedrosa tries to come in. Brett Phillips, the goalkeeper, is out. He sweeps it away. Good Pedrosa, fight there. yeah. Good work. The Doyle, the shot. Phillips to save. You can almost expect every time that David Doyle gets the ball, he's going to shoot. And it's good because he challenges the goalkeeper every time. Deb Reeves knocks it upfield into the seats. And it'll be a kick in coming up for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. 11.28 left here in the third quarter of play. We are in Dallas, Texas. For Dallas, they have to start biting. Fight for every ball. Don't let Vegas have this type of comfort zone. That's a great term you just used, biting it. That's exactly what seems to be missing right now from Dallas is some bite. The 50-50 balls, that type of thing. Yeah. Gary Young, and the perfect example. Here comes Young. Young tripped Ooh. up. No call. Mark Curlin enters the fray. Yeah, Young stepped on the ball that time. Tommy Craig. Now Dan Barber for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. For Bronco Segoda. Oh, John Hedl. Well, there's Segoda, and there's Papaleo. The goalkeeper for Dallas comes up with it. Papaleo's playing strong. It's just the defense in front of him. Again, there's no fight there. they got to fight a little bit more. Dave Reichardt now. The Roadrunners got one goal tonight. Six to two. Curtis Partey can't control it. Danny Barber ahead for Dan Packer. Packer stood up by Mike Powers, but Barber gets in there. Here comes Barber wheeling around the cross. Tommy Crane went after it. And John Hedlund goes down hard to the penalty arch. And he's injured. Good call by the ref. Take a look at Hedlund to see whether or not he's really, really injured. So the Dallas trainer, Steve Smith, will uh, come onto the carpet. Look at Barber wheeling around. Puts the ball across. Hedlund goes for it, and he gets clipped oh, from behind. Yeah, that was right on the knee, I think, as well. So that's going to certainly wake you up. 10.22 left here in the third quarter. 6-2, to two, the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Lead the Dallas sidekicks in this contest. Again, winner takes all. Well, hey, coming up. This Wednesday night, it is the St. Louis Billikens and the Furman Paladins, our College Soccer Weekly Game of the Week. Yours truly and Desmond Armstrong will be in Davidson, North Carolina, as it's week number seven. Can you believe it? Week number seven of the Great College Soccer Weekly Series. Make sure you check your local listings, the finest in college soccer from across the USA on Prime. Check it out in your local listings. We had a great game last week, Desmond. Uh, Princeton almost upset North Carolina, but North Carolina held on to beat Princeton 3-2. That was a great game. Most of the games we've shown on Prime on the Wednesday night college soccer <laughs> weekly game have been great games. I've loved traveling with you too, buddy. These past, what has it been, 56 uh, weeks now yeah, at this point? Well, <laughs> you're my man. We'll be in Charlotte again. You look at the frustration on Tattoo. His cares are not about our travels, but about winning another championship series. And a veteran of his stature, he's probably got a couple more years left, as he said in an interview earlier this year, but he also knows not that many opportunities come along to grab a championship series and I know a guy who's been a part of Dallas now for 10 years like that too you gotta believe he was feeling it tonight when 16,000 plus go crazy he wants to win it here most definitely he's a winner he is a true champion so he'll do everything that he can to win this game tonight to win this championship but on the other end is Bronco Segoda another champion every final that he's been in he's won every last one of them Game three of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals, the Dallas Sidekicks and Las Vegas Dust Devils. So John Hedlund has helped off the carpet, and as you make the point, Bronco Segoda, who looked like for Las Vegas after game one, we didn't think he'd make it to three games. His back was bothering him, his hamstring. Lo and behold, comes out game two. Two goals, and tonight, once again, he's involved in game three. Tattoo gets free, the shot, off the glass. Dallas, in the purple, trying to rally. Nick Stavro, out of Curtis Partey. Rusty Troy with authority, ricochets it off the boards. This is what Dallas needs, they need to close Vegas into that pocket down there, in the offensive third. Curtis Partey played off the ball, now Las Vegas again, looks forward. Roderick Scott, great move. Moves. Curtis Partey. Now Gus Castaneda. Good vision for Oscar Pizzato. Pizzato wheels around the board. Steph Reeves trying to clear. Pizzato, whoops, we got a handball coming up. It'll be a free kick for the Dallas sidekicks. 
9.40 left here is Oscar Pizzano. He's got a goal tonight. 38-year-old defender. Shows a lot of leadership back there in the defense for Vegas. Rusty Troy knocks Tattoo off the ball. Now Tattoo goes after Rusty Troy, wins the ball. Out is Brett Phillips. Tattoo into the net! Into the net! Here's the mark of a champion. Tattoo really fighting for the ball. Stays on top of it, and he puts it in the back of the net. He's not going to give up. As we look at the little cam up top, boom, back of the net. Not a great angle, but it's still a nice goal. Phillips comes out, blocks it, Tattoo, full volley. Well, that could be a turnaround goal because Tattoo had lost the ball to Rusty Troy. He went back, got it himself, and then gets the goal. That was a slam dunk for Dallas. Six to three. Dallas trying to come back. Las Vegas, though. Tariq Walker into the corner, cleared away by Dallas. And now Brett Phillips will control it. That's Tattoo, though. The mark, he just... Now Brett Phillips... Pushed by Giambala Pedroso. It'll be a free kick coming up for Las Vegas. Talk about Tattoo, though, after getting beat to go back and win the ball. Yeah, that talks about some of that bite that Dallas needs, and it needs it from the leader. Start from the leader, then it trickles down throughout the entire team. Tattoo was able to do that. Got the bite, got the ball, got the goal. Tommy Crane, and that's going to be out of here. So a kick in coming up for the Dallas sidekicks. And this crowd of 16,000 plus, the largest in CISL history, is rejuvenated. Six to three, Dallas trails by three goals. For Vegas, they can't allow Dallas to get into their flow. Giampolo Pedrosa for Chris Price! Whoa! And Price ends up at the boards, holding his right ankle. Danny Barber. Elbowed off the ball by Dave Reichardt. Good effort by Reichardt. Chase him down and win the ball. Now David Doyle knocks it back to Mike Powers, to Consent Reichardt. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but you can sense a little bit of the momentum changing on Dallas's half. And it was that goal. Got the crowd back up. And has Las Vegas back on their heels. Dev Reeves redirected by Doug Borgel. Tattoo comes in. Boy, he went against those boards hard. Now he's pinned. Whistled by Herb Silva, and the fans all over Gary Young and company. A free kick coming up for Dallas. <laughs> oh, that feels good. There it is right there. He gets pinned, and he's so strong, he's going to just knock it to the wall and keep it there. He's pinned it. Now the Las Vegas Dust Devils try to come the other way. Dangerous ball. Mark Curlin. Knife through, makes the turn. Curlin still with the ball. Pavaleo comes out. Great pull by Papaleo. Seven forty-eight left here in the third quarter. Six to three. Ball skipped by David Doyle. Danny Barber back heels it. Doyle gets it back. Doyle the turn. Brett Phillips controls. Nice attempt by Doyle. No power on the shot, so Phillips had no problem with picking it up. Now to Gary Young for the Dallas Sidekicks for the Las Vegas Dust Devils, former Dallas Psychic. Brett Phillips on the ball, long ball upfield, and Joe Papaleo is able to handle it. Papaleo actually lost one of his elbow pads on the distribution. Brett Phillips puts it high into the night. Now to Eric Dade for the Dallas Sidekicks. Gary Young, Tattoo wins the ball. Young trips him up, and a card. The Dallas sidekicks are going to have a power play. And the momentum you talked about, Di Newman, he's sizzling. The momentum you talked about, Desmond, is clearly switching over to Dallas. We have an official timeout on the field. Dallas coming back with a power play. The Las Vegas Dust Devils lead this game 6-3. to three. Let's look at it. 
Young looks like he gets fouled right there. Tattoo gets it. Oh, and he kills him from behind. He cracks him. Questionable call in that Tattoo may have fouled him first. All right. <laughs> The Tempers flare it here in Dallas, but Las Vegas still has the lead. It's the Las Vegas Dust Devil 6, the Dallas Sidekicks 3. We're coming back on Prime. Do you suffer from poor sleep? Are you plagued by bed cause aches and pains? Do you snore or toss and turn all night? Then for good sleep's sake, get these two free booklets. This is the A to Z guide to better sleep, and it's published as a public service by the nonprofit Better Sleep Council. It's filled with 20 pages of facts and recommendations on how to get a good night's sleep. And this free booklet is all about adjustable beds. Read it, and you'll discover how through the use of adjustability, heat, and massage, you may relax and sleep better, temporarily relieve low back pain, and increase blood circulation in your legs. Both of these informative booklets are free and will be mailed to you at absolutely no cost or obligation. So don't hesitate. For a good night's sleep, call this toll-free number. Call toll-free 1-800-352-2121. That's 1-800-352-2121. Toll-free 1-800-352-2121. We never used to exercise. We didn't have time to go to the gym, and it was impossible to find a quality strength and aerobic machine that we could use at home. So we found Bowflex. Bowflex lets me perform the strength aerobic workout I want in 20 minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and it makes my body feel incredible. There's simply nothing else like it. You can change the amount of weight you're using by adding more power rods. The cable pulley system accommodates 64 different exercises. It's even backed by a lifetime warranty. If you're like me, and at first you looked at machines like Soloflex and Nordiflex, you've got to see what Bowflex can do for you. It simply produces results. Call right now for this free 15-minute video. It will show you exactly how Bowflex will let you outperform Soloflex and Nordicflex. You'll be surprised at how effective Bowflex really is. If you want to see the easiest, most effective way of exercising at home, you need to see this video. It's absolutely free, so call for yours right now. Looking at the back of the net, the Las Vegas Dust Devils lead the Dallas Psychic 6-3. Remember, the winner takes all. This is game three of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Finals. We have a power play coming up for Dallas. This is how it happened, Desmond Armstrong. Young is cooked by Tattoo right there. No call. Young gets back up. Boom. Tattoo's on the boards and on the ground. So Dallas, the team in the purple, in the regular season, had the best power play in the Continental Indoor Soccer League. Let's see if they can execute it here. Gary Young looks relaxed in the penalty box. Tattoo. This is where Dallas can really get back into the game. Score on this power play, and the whole momentum has shift, shifted to their advantage. Tattoo back to Nick Stavro. Now Tattoo. Stavro, a minute 38 left on the power play. You got to shoot, though. Stavro. Doyle, the shot. Phillips, the save. Tattoo. It's in the there net. There you go. and he shoots to the far post just like that. Tattoo follows up, sticks it in. Well, the Dallas sidekicks are creeping back into this contest with 6.26 left. And I tell you what, you know, the early part of the third quarter, Las Vegas looked strong, but Dallas with Tattoo are on the rampage. Tattoo started really getting to his game. He started to have the ball on his feet. He stole the ball, scored. Get involved, assist. So now he's into the flow. The momentum has changed towards Dallas. And it's going to take for Vegas, really, to get back into this game. Hold on to the lead, but really press forward to try to get some more goals. Dave Breitkart for the Dallas Psychics. Mark Curley comes up with the steal. 
for Las Vegas. Las Vegas in the white, Dallas in the purple. We have a game again here at Reunion Arena. The sellout crowd feels it. Brett Phillips now for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Long ball upfield. And a foul on Tariq Walker of Las Vegas. So it'll be Dallas's ball. Dave Reichardt played off the ball by Tariq Walker. Walker uses the boards, but Dallas right back on him. Tattoo. Reichardt, Walker intervenes. Troy thigh traps it. Back to Brent Phillips. Dallas wanted a back pass. Nobody thighed it back, so he can pick it up with his hands. Remember, if you knock it back with your foot, it is illegal for goalkeeper. Now Rusty Troy fouls tattoo. Something Vegas has to stay away from. Don't give fouls away so close to your goal. And the way this game is going, I could end up in a penalty. Hits him clearly from behind, right there. Yeah, he was looking to get the ball, but he looked like he pushed him. What do you think, Dave? I'd say he pushed him. That's uh, yeah, I think he's going to agree with me. That's right. The thing about that, where Rusty Troy's been cautious, they, they've called power plays for less. Mike Powers, the shot for Dallas. Deb Reeves knocks it in the corner. Mike Powers now lost it in the air. And a foul called on Dave Reichardt, so it'll be a free kick coming up from the Las Vegas Dustum. You have to push forward now and continue to push forward. Don't make him out the ball in the back because that's when you're going to get in a dangerous situation. Brett Phillips, Mike Powers with the header. And it goes out of bounds and it will be a kick in coming up for Las Vegas. For Vegas, they have to keep popping the ball into the corner where Bronco is. Let him get his foot on the ball, maintain control of it, the pace of the game for them, and let him combine with Curlin. Look at Gordon Jago, the head coach of the Dallas Sidekicks. Trying to win his third indoor title and second in a row. 4.54 left in the third quarter of play. Chris Hayden onto the ball. Hayden and Roderick Scott tangled. Now Mike Powers. Powers streaks forward. Here comes Powers. The shot. Phillips is out. A foul called on Bronco Segoda. Pushing from behind. So it'll be a free kick coming up for the Dallas Sidekicks. Stavro into the wall. Good challenge by Vegas' defense. Bronco Segoda wins it back. But now Tattoo. Tattoo. He's got space. He's got a shot. Eric Day lost it forward for the Dallas Sidekicks. Fred Phillips, Dallas at sixes, in, Las Vegas at sixes and sevens on defense. And a kick in coming up for the Dallas Sidekicks. Sidekick, 4.15 left in the third quarter. Dallas trails by two goals. David Doyle puts it in play to Tattoo. Now to Curtis Partey. Doyle challenged by Scott, but here comes Doyle. Tattoo. Roderick Scott for Las Vegas. Stavro wins it. 3.48 left here in the third quarter. Two-goal game. Dallas playing a smart game by maintaining possession of the ball. Keeping the momentum on their side. Joe Papaleo now lofts it upfield. Headed down by Rusty Troy. Dallas winning the 50-50 balls all of a sudden. That's been the difference in this quarter. Tattoo double team. Tommy Crane. Tattoo wins it back. Now David Doyle. The shot, Brett Phillips to save. The extra effort by Tattoo is noticeable. Very noticeable. That's where the fight comes from for Dallas. Tariq Walker, the cross, Doug Morgella to the net. Oh, what a beautiful turn and a great finish. 
Borgel second of the night. Borgel at the right place at the right time. Seven to four, back to a three goal lead. Walker turns his defender, plays a square ball across the goal mouth. Borgel is right there, ready to tap it in. Unmarked. Again, a great ball across the goal mouth. Borgel, all he has to do is put his foot on it. And indeed he does. Look at net cam. Look out. Bam. Back in the net. Well, let's see about the resilience of this Dallas crowd. Well, they're still behind their team, but Vegas is doing everything they're supposed to. Momentum had changed for a little while. Now, momentum comes back to Vegas. Craig Ways downstairs. Craig, what do you have for us? Update on John Hedlund's injury. He sprained the knee, oh. and he's un unsure if they'll get him back in the game. He also pulled his left hamstring on the same play, fellas. So it's a double loss for John Hedlund. They don't know if they'll get him back. All right, and John Hedlund, certainly a defensive stalwart for the Dallas sidekick. He has a blow to the Dallas defense because he is a leader back there. Very strong defender. Deb Reeves knocks it back to Joe Papaleo. Get on the back pass. He can't handle it. Reeves has trouble with it. Stuffed by Gus Castaneda. They're really having trouble with the defensive third. Mike Powers forced to clear it. And a kick in coming up for Las Vegas in the white. You see right there the momentum change because now Vegas' forwards are starting to put pressure on Dallas' defenders. The ball is kicked out of bounds because of the pressure from Barber. Free kick coming up for Las Vegas. Broncos to go to. Back to Oscar Pizzotto. 2.20 left in the third quarter. Gary Young. Gus Castaneda. Young. Into the penalty arch, but Dave Reichardt races out with it. Reichardt in the backfield to Giampaolo Pedroso. Pedroso, long ball field, that'll be for Brett Phillips. Phillips, the talented goalkeeper for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Pedroso. Now Tattoo, they stand up here in Dallas. Tattoo and Pizzotto go at it, and Pizzotto gets called for the foul. Tattoo! Tattoo, be careful with that arm coming back. Hush, fucking nice. Back off. Back away. Back off. You hear what Herb Silva has to deal with. He says play nice. But this is a championship series. <laughs> Tattoo gets the space. It's in the net. It's in the net. A goal for the Dallas sidekicks. Giampolo. to the far post. Pedroso right there. Falling backwards, but he still gets his foot on the ball and a goal. This is what you don't want. Tattoo one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, actually, yeah. It, it actually went off Dan Barber. Right there. I don't know. I think that goal should actually go to Tattoo. Because it's off the defender. It's off the defender. Well, they're going to give it to Pedroso for now. But the beauty of the replay, Tattoo went off Dan Barber. Either way, it's a goal for the Dallas Psychics. It's a two-goal game. The second half has been Tattoo's half so far, this third quarter. Needed for him to come out here and really play, take on the leadership role, and he's done so. Well, indeed he has, and that, if you give it to Tattoo, would be his third goal of the third quarter. As Tariq Walker lands funny, he is down. Las Vegas forward, and we have a whistle on the trainer. Now Walker gets up. And now Walker's going to the box. Misconduct and call. Get in the box. Walker goes up for a head ball here. Gets bumped out, out of the air. Call for misconduct. And now he's going to get two, two more minutes assessed and a yellow card. So that takes Tariq Walker out of the game, but uh, brings the crowd back into it. This will not be a man advantage for the Dallas sidekicks. Well, this crowd, they got here early, looking to celebrate another title, but Las Vegas on their way to spoiling it. Largest crowd in CISL history, 16,000 plus. 
And there have been some big ones this year, but this is the topper. Brett Phillips for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Dallas went into 50-50 balls now. Nick Stavro, tattoo. And it'll be a throw-in coming up for goalkeeper Brett Phillips, his tattoo. As the replay showed, he clearly has three goals here in the third quarter. Although they have officially given Pedrosa the most recent goal. Look at Tariq Walker, who I think started off complaining because they were calling for a trainer. Bronco Segoda for the Dust Devils. He's been a little bit quieter in the second half as Bronco. Tattoo. Beats Gary Young. Tattoo, it's off the crossbar. David Doyle, it's knocked away by Roderick Scott. Segoda going after the head ball, knocks Mike Powers thumping to the carpet. We're almost to the fourth quarter here in Dallas. The CISL championship is on the line. Good ball. Mark Curlin won't be able to get to it. Dev Reeves. Great read by Reeves to get back there, recover, maintain possession of it for Dallas. Rusty Troy. Make that Gary Young knocks it down, and then Tattoo floors Young. Oh, that was a blatant foul right there. Clear push. Referees don't even call two minutes on that. And he was planted to the turf. I mean, Tattoo had no chance with the ball. He just clearly pushed him. All right, the stage is set for the fourth quarter. Two goals separate these two teams. The defending champion, Dallas Sidekicks, trailed the Las Vegas Dust Devils 7 to 5. What will happen in the final 15 minutes? Fasten your seatbelts and you'll find out. We're coming back to Dallas. You will receive cash. Yes, cash for Rolex, cash for Patek Philippe, cash for Cartier. Heritage Estate buyers will pay you cash for these men's wristwatches or the others I will list. Heritage is on a national search for watches. We will help you with cash if you own a Vacheron, Universal Geneve, Breitling, also Audemars, Movado, and La Coultra. Your watch can be worth thousands of dollars if it's a chronograph, moon phase, or repeater. This is an opportunity for you to receive cash for a watch that's gathering dust in a drawer. Heritage Estate buyers will pay you cash for the fine men's wrist watches we listed, working or not. If you don't call now, you're losing money. Write down our number. We're ready to pay top dollars now. Time means money. Call Heritage now. Call 1-800-352-2121 to learn how to receive cash for your vintage watch. Time means money. Call toll-free 1-800-352-2121. Call now. You're watching HSE, the best team on TV. If your teeth are yellow or stained, it's nothing to smile about. But this is. This is Dental White, the professional non-abrasive tooth whitening process used by dentists across the country to whiten their patients' teeth. Jeanette used Dental White on her upper teeth only. Now just look at these dramatic results. My boyfriend, he loves my new smile. I was amazed at how simple and easy it was to use. My teeth were whiter after the first time I used it. Dental White penetrates into the pores of your teeth to lift out grime. Simply apply the Dental White formula to the custom tray and fit it to your teeth and then wear the tray for 30 minutes. Dental White will whiten your teeth and make them more brilliant than ever. Call now and you'll get a double-sized bottle of Dental White, two sets of custom trays, and easy-to-follow instructions, all for just $19.95. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-423-2121 or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Dental White, Department H, P.O. Box 4943, Omaha, Nebraska, 68104. Desmond Armstrong and Craig Way in Dallas, Texas. The city is excited. Las Vegas Dust Devils will lead the Dallas Sidekicks 7 to 5. It almost, almost was a one goal game. Tattoo. Tattoo taking the players, going straight for the goal. Left foot a shot, hits off the crossbar right there. Nicks the woodwork, and how intense is Tattoo as a competitor? Look Here. at him going, Gary Young. 50 50 ball. You really can't get it. He's saying, come on. And Tattoo came. <laughs> Indeed he did. All right, let's look at the stats. 
Dallas now out shooting Vegas, 50 to 45. It's been a penalty ridden game. Although I wouldn't say dirty, it's just the whistles have been used more than we've seen in the previous two games of this championship series. You look at the Dallas Mavericks slash sidekicks cheerleaders. What is going on here? Sellout crowd reunion arena. This is game three of the Continental Indoor Soccer League final. The winner takes it all. Final quarter, 15 minutes left. Let's go down to Craig Way. Craig, what about the final 15? Well, Dave, each bench talking intensity for the final period. Guy Newman telling his guys not to let it get away from him. Gordon Jago and his guys, all business, talking a lot of strategy as they go into this final quarter, 15 minutes, perhaps at least to decide a champion unless we go overtime. All right, thanks, Craig. Las Vegas Dust Devils in the white jerseys. Cleared up field, a free line violation, and it will be a free kick for the Dallas sidekicks. We bring in Ron Newman, head coach of the San Diego Soccers, the father of Guy Newman. Ron has 10 indoor titles to his credit. Your son Guy is 14 minutes, 52 seconds away from continuing the family dynasty. Well, they're, they're, they're very important, 14 minutes. They've got to try and keep their composure. Tattoo uh, with a shot, and it's blocked by Oscar Pizzotto, you were saying, Ron. Well, the, the, uh, the Dallas team are always fighting back. They're always able to come back, and uh, uh, right now, I think the pressure's building all the time on, on the Vegas team. They've got to try and keep the composure. I thought the seventh goal might have broken uh, the, their, their spirit a bit, Dallas, but they come back again. So this is going to be one rip roaring second half. All right. The fourth quarter, Tattoo puts it to Dev Reeves. We'll keep Ron with us for just a bit. Desmond Armstrong still with us. It's like Monday Night Football. We have three now in the booth and one downstairs in Craig Way. Well, we're working on a great team here. Good to see you, Ron. Glad nice you can make it up here. Nice to see you, Mr. Armstrong. I Mr. Armstrong, well, wow. Mr. Newman, <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you proper respect. Just call me Dave. He calls you Mr. Armstrong. All right, here we go. Roderick Scott for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Scott breaking free of tattoo. Scott stays with it. The cross oh. for Bordell, redirected by Dev Reeves, and Pavaleo comes up with it. Ron, the key has to be for Vegas. They really push forward, continue to go on the offense as opposed to sitting back. That's right. They mustn't change their, uh, their posture. And they're looking just a little bit nervous now. Rusty Troy knocks it uphill for Vegas. Here comes Tattoo. Tattoo taken down by Doug Borgel. The fans here at Reunion Arena looking for the card. Tattoo now on the ball for the Dallas sidekicks. The fantastic one. Dallas in the purple, Las Vegas in the white. Curtis Partey knocked away by Danny Barber. Barber knifes through the midfield. Barber trying to stay with it. Nick Stavro now eludes two defenders. Good move by Stavro. Curtis Partey. Rocco Segona playing some defense. Eric Day, the shot. Brett Phillips to save. Pizzotto the clear. What about the tuxedo, uh, Rod Newman, that your son's wearing? If I remember correctly, you used to do that in San Diego. We did. I think it gives a little bit of class. This is a classy game, and uh, it's a special game, and I think we should dress specially. So I'm glad to see him doing it. Now, is that a rental, or is that his own tuxedo? Uh, uh, probably a rental. I don't think he's ever owned one of his own. Well, if he keeps that in championship series, he's going to have to buy one. We're with Ron Newman, head coach of the San Diego Soccers, the lord of all indoor coaches. David Doyle, the shot, it nicks off the glass. Not a bad attempt by Doyle. Right card. Nice block by Pizzano, the foul up by right card, it's in the net. It's in the net. First shot goes wide, good block by Pisano. But right guard's on top of it again, full volley, back in the net. And that's why it's human pinball. That's why the shots are coming from everywhere now. 13 8 left in the fourth quarter. And a one goal game, Las Vegas still leads 7 to 6. It's going to take for Vegas to get the ball. Mark Carlin, the shot blocked by Debris. I'm sorry, Desmond. No problem, it's all the excitement right there. Go ahead and talk. You were saying, though. I don't want to miss the point. Get the ball to Bronco because he's the leader of this team. Tommy Cray, the header by Bronco Segona. So close. Bronco's very, very composed in a situation like this. You need to get the ball to him. 
as he works off of Curlin also. Mark Curlin out from the Las Vegas Dust Devils. I think, uh, Ron Newman, you probably want to get back and, and watch this game. I know it's a, a tense moment for you, but congratulations on your son's run with the Las Vegas Dust Devils, and best of luck. He's doing great. Thanks very much. All right, Ron Newman joining us for a portion of the fourth quarter, and we appreciate him stepping in. He is watching every move. You can bet that. Very proud of his son's team. Bronco Segoda makes the turn. Now Dave Reichardt. Reichardt trying to clear it. Roderick Scott now for the Dust Devils. Scott. For Tommy Crane, he has one goal tonight. Crane in the corner for Curlin. Back to Tommy Crane. Crane will take the shot and glances off the glass. Roderick Scott now for the Dust Devils. One goal game. Scott, it's blocked by Reichardt. Now Chris Hayden for Dallas. Could we have overtime two weeks in a row? We'll see in the remaining 11.45. Mark Curlin steals it. Does well to pull it back out. Maintain possession of it. Remember, Vegas is still up by one goal. Rusty they, Troy. If they keep their composure, pop the ball into the corner, close Dallas in, they can win this. All right, David Doyle now. Doyle, the shot. Rusty Troy now. Troy, take it out from behind by Doyle. It'll be a free kick coming up for Las Vegas. Two minutes. Two minutes, in fact, the power play. So it's been a busy night for Doyle in the penalty box, unfortunately for him. Troy turns it back, away from the goal, stands on to maintain possession. Doyle comes in and just clips his whole leg. Oh, that was a hard shot, too. Back, Rusty Troy still down. You heard him still talking to David Doyle. Yeah. All well, he's got is misconduct. And I thought, that's Bronco. No. No, Bronco. No. Eleven thirteen left in the fourth quarter. A one-goal game. Busy night for Herb Silva, the referees. Very busy night. We had to let Ron Newman go because the game tightened up a little bit. He, he was, was getting kind of excited up yeah, here. <laughs> he was getting real physical in the booth. He was knocking us around. Look at Rusty Troy. Now, if he cannot continue, that could be a big blow for Las Vegas because he's done a pretty good job of marking Tattoo, even though Tattoo has gotten goals here in the second half. Well, it's gone back and forth. The first half I give to Rusty Troy. The second half or third quarter gave it to Tattoo. And now we're into the fourth quarter. It would be a great blow to Vegas if he can't continue. Oh, right, you see it. The sidekick's trying to repeat as champions of the Continental Indoor Soccer League. And that's the kind of emotion we've seen here tonight. Fans have painted their face. 16,000 plus largest crowd in CISL history is Rusty Troy, a Dallas product, has helped to his feet. Look at Gino DiPolito, the, the referee. And uh, look, yeah, looks like there's a few cue cards. You see a wild thing on it. David Doyle is the wild thing. They've got some nicknames for some of the Dallas players. Craig Waves also with us downstairs, and we'll look forward to his insight throughout this contest. The remaining 11-13, so Las Vegas will have a man advantage for the next minute 58 seconds as the power play is underway. Bronco Segona for Danny Barber. Cleared away by Dallas. For Vegas, they're going to have to knock the ball around the perimeter a lot quicker than that. Look for an open opportunity and expect a shot coming from Bronco Segoda. They work it around, Roderick Scott. And a Danny Barber. Doug Borgel, Mark Curlin, Danny Barber, it's in the net! One, two, three, bam! Execution was perfect on that. Eight to six to score, and look out, Las Vegas. Maybe it is Viva Las Vegas as they made the trip from the desert. Cross play to the corner, back to the middle. Curlin goes to the outside. Barber is down in the corner, sticks it away. Another look at it from another angle. Barber, again, very poised, just knocks it in the back of the net, unmarked. They executed very well on the power play there. The emotional sways continue. The Dallas fans here were on their feet. 
and quiet once again. And now quiet once again as it's a two-goal game. Dallas's only lead was in the first quarter. They had a 2-1 lead. But since then, Las Vegas has kept the proverbial arm's length. 8-6 to six the score. Joe Papaleo steps into midfield. Both teams back to equal strength. And look for this guy who tattooed to get more involved. Dev Reeves now. Dave Reichardt. Dan Packer clears. See, for Vegas, once they get possession of the ball, they just can't give it away so easily. If they continue to do that, they allow Dallas to get back into the game. Pushing and shoving, and a foul Augustus Pineda. And it'll be a free kick for the Dallas sidekick. Tattoo skins over his head. And Gary Young's now marking him. Young trying to get it out. Tommy Crane will control it for the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Again, each time they play the ball forward and not to a player, they give Dallas a chance to get back into this game, maintain possession of the ball. Nick Stavro. And the tattoo. Ryder Scott, Brett Phillips to save. Good, good save by Phillips. Off his line very quick and was able to get his hands on the ball. Doug Bordell trying to get around Eric Dade. Bordell comes in on Papaleo. Tariq Walker now. Dan Barber. Giampolo Pedrosa for the Dallas sidekick. Good fight by Pedrosa. Dave Reichardt. Using that speed. Reichardt. Phillips comes up with it with tattoo. Yeah, Phillips does well again. He reads the shot, cuts off the angle, gets his hands on the ball. Phillips is in pain. But he's got to play it to his teammate. Rest it call. Trainer comes out to take a look at Phillips. Good call by the ref. Good play by Phillips also to get rid of the ball to allow for the ref to call for the trainer to come on the field. Phillips knew he needed some kind of reprieve. Well, there's more soccer on Prime. The Everton-Southampton matchup. Thursday, October 13th. Check your local listings. In fact, you were given something by Graham Lasso of Southampton. What was it, a tie he gave you? No, he gave, we, we exchanged T-shirts. T-shirts, that's right. You know, the T-shirt From you, one national yeah. team member to another. You know how that's it is. That's right. Graham Lasso, member of the English national team. He plays for Southampton, and you can see him on Prime. Brent Phillips trying to shake the cobwebs. It's a little like Chuck Webner, the old boxer. When you're a goalkeeper, you're going to get cauliflower ears and then some. Got to be a tough character to be a goalkeeper. Tough. 8.41 left here in the fourth quarter. That's why I'm a field player. That's, right. <laughs> That's why I'm up here always. 8-6 to six the score. Las Vegas, as we look at the size four CISL ball. Danny Barber. Mark Curlin ahead for Dan Packer. Eric Dade shields. Pavaleo comes out and scoops it up. Good shield by Dade. And a good read by Pavaleo to come out. David Doyle now. Oh, Danny Packer tripped up. Free kick for Las Vegas. And Rusty Troy back on the carpet. Good sign for Vegas that Russell Troy is able to come back in there and resume his duties. Packer has the ball, he's going for it. Oh, oh. Split. Yep. Two goal game. CISL championship on the line here in Dallas. Mike Powers intervenes in front of Mark Curlin. Good defensive play right there. If he doesn't get the ball, Curlin's in one on one. Curtis Partain sends it into the seats, kicking, coming up to Las Vegas. 7.57 left in the fourth quarter, and we have an official timeout. Sell-out crowd in Dallas. Passing your seatbelts. A two-goal game to decide the championship of the CISL. We're coming back on Prime. True confessions about calling circles from MCI friends and family customers. He asked for a lot of friends and family's names. I gave him my sister, my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, my friend in Florida. It just wasn't worth it. Out of my ten people, only one 
I got the discount to make it easier, simpler. You want it simple? You got it. Just switch to AT&T and get AT&T True USA Savings. Spend $25 a month on AT&T and we subtract 20% from your AT&T long distance bill. Switch now and save to anyone, anytime, anywhere in the USA, guaranteed. Simple is better. With AT&T, you save on calls to everyone. That's why two out of three MCI friends and family basic or primetime users will save more with True USA Savings. I'm going back to AT&T. We'll switch you for free. Just call 1-800-PICK-ATT. We're standing by for your call. <laughs> switch back. Switch now. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT. Your true voice. It's the power, the speed, the risk. No other racing event demands the best drivers, and nothing compares to the excitement of the APBA Race Series. It's game day, and we've got your team. Introducing the college sport rings from Balfour. Capture the spirit of your favorite team with an officially licensed college sport ring from Balfour. Handcrafted by the same master jewelers who fashion championship rings for your favorite college and pro teams. Each ring is sculpted from beautiful Balfour Celestrium for the look of real gold. Your satisfaction is fully guaranteed, so call the number on your screen now. Pay in only five easy monthly installments of just $19 each. Get the mutt! Whether you're a bulldog, a razorback, a longhorn, or a tiger, get in the game with a Balfour College Sport Ring. Call now. In the net, in Dallas, Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, Craig Way, game number three in the CISL Finals. It is eight to six, Las Vegas over Dallas. And we go down to Craig Way. Craig, what do you have? Well, Dave, just a few moments ago, leading up to the official timeout, head coach Guy Newman kept telling his team, can't let it get inside too. Don't let it get inside too. Got to protect the cushion. He wants that cushion because if it gets back down to one goal, down the stretch, it's going to be tough to hold on to it here against the side team. All right, Craig Way was at a busy day. It was at the Texas-Oklahoma game. And by the way, Craig, I want to buy that tie after the game. So start thinking of a price. Las Vegas in the white jerseys, Dallas in the purple. Las Vegas on the ball with a two-goal lead. We're coming down the home stretch. Mark Curlin looking to get it to Bronco Sagoda. Sagoda now digs in. Nick Stavro shields his goalkeeper, and Joe Papaleo is able to snare it. Good defense by Dallas right there to pin the ball against the wall, allowing for Papaleo to come out and get it. Tommy Crane under pressure from Tattoo. Look at the champion tattoo. The tenacity of tattoo. He continues forward even if he doesn't get the ball. He puts pressure on the defenders of, Ve of Vegas. Tommy Cray the foul. Everyone looking for the card but a free kick coming up for the Dallas Stockings. Tattoo of course really jump started the Dallas comeback. Well you need a leader to do that and he is truly a leader. He wants the ball. He wants to win. He's a champion. The only way to do it is go out there and fight for it. And that is a different breed, a champion. Tattoo, fighting with Rusty Troy. Gus Castaneda clears it for Las Vegas. Look out at the scorer's table. And we're seven minutes even left. It'll be a Dallas kick-in. Vegas again has to continue to fight. If they want to win, they can't sit back on this lead. Indoors, too unpredictable. Rusty Troy heads it into the front row. And it'll be a kick-in coming up for Dallas. Look at Tattoo. 60 goals this season in 28 games. You figure out the average. He and Rusty Troy have really been going at it. <laughs> David Doyle with the uh, shot. Nick Stavro for the Dallas sidekicks. Joe Papaleo now, the sidekicks goalkeeper. Should point out the Dallas fans have been most gracious to us, Desmond. We have Good luck cookies made by Gloria Aguil in a nice bag. We had Renee come up and visit us. Say she tapes every Continental Indoor Soccer League game on Prime. And we have this uh, group next to us that keeps taking our pictures. So if you see us in a post office near you, you know how that happens. <laughs> it's a new player card right now, buddy. The broadcasting player card. 
Maybe, they, maybe they've got our license and we don't even know it. Rocco Segura goes up for the header. Here comes Doug Borgel after his third goal. Las Vegas with the lead, 8-6. to six. Roderick Scott keeps it alive but puts it in the seats. It'll be a kick-in coming up for Dallas. Or maybe they're just trying to kill off the roll of film. Now, why would they do that and not want your pretty face? Rusty Troy. Giampaolo Pedrosa on the carpet. Doug Borgel knocks it upfield. Dan Packer. But Reichardt's there. Papaleo to Reichardt. Reichardt's speed comes in handy in so many ways. Again, especially an in indoor because he can get up and down the court. He's a two-way player, defensively and an offensive player. He's able to score goals and set up assists. It's relatively quiet right now at Reunion Arena, but it's only a two-goal game. Tattoo try to change that. The cross almost did. Oh, a great ball as it skips across the goal mile. Doug Borgel. Borgel leads the charge. Here comes Reichardt, the shot. Reichardt forced the shot. Yeah, a nifty player. Again, he was on the offense two seconds ago, and he got back to cut off the angle. Giampaolo Pedroso. Las Vegas on the line change intervenes. Roderick Scott, 5.15 left in the game. Now to Rusty Troy. Again, when the ball is played into the corner like that, Vegas has got to step up to close off the space for Dallas to come forward. Tattoo. Nice touch. Tattoo. The shot blocked by Roderick Scott. Tattoo the header. Troy, the clear. Vegas has got to get forward as the ball goes forward. The more they sit back, the more dangerous it is for them. Mark Curlin fouls Dev Reeves. It'll be a free kick Dallas. Tattoo dump by Rusty Troy. Good fight. Good fair challenge right there. 50-50. Curtis Partey. The shot for Dallas blocked by Tommy Crane. Partey keeps it alive. Dallas, a lot of vigor here. Well, every time Vegas gets the ball, they give it away. Tattoo. Oh, he makes the turn. The shot. Phillips is saved. Oh, great save by Phillips. Wonderful save. Got his left paw on it. He's had a good game. Eric Dade. Tattoo. And Troy the foul. See, this is dangerous. The more Dallas has the ball, the more they can press, the more shots they have, the more opportunities they get from free, kick, free kicks, and they may score. It's a good point. 4.03 left, plenty of time. Tattoo, Doyle, it's in the net! It's in the net! One goal game! David Doyle, tattoo on top of the ball, plays it wide. David Doyle, favorite shot to the far post, bending in. Another look from behind. Tattoo steps towards the ball, plays it to the corner. David Doyle's there, comes in the frame, hits it. Far post, back of the net. All right, we have a one-goal game here in Dallas. And Rocket, it's Las Vegas 8, Dallas 7. Don't move, we're coming back. What is it that makes virtual reality so real? Find out in popular science. What's it like to fly a classified F-117A fighter? Find out in popular science. Will hydrogen replace oil as the fuel of the 21st century? Find out in popular science. Where can you learn about the latest breakthroughs in high-tech products? Everything from the phone of the future to tires you can drive on even when they're flat. Find out in Popular Science, now at over 50% off with this special TV subscription offer. Call now, and as an extra bonus, get this powerful and practical mini flashlight free. Month after month, Popular Science sheds new light on what's new today and what tomorrow will look like in the world of science, computers, electronics, automobiles, and more. Call now to get 12 issues of Popular Science for just $13.94, more than half off the newsstand price. 
plus this practical mini flashlight free with your paid subscription. Call now. You're watching HSE, the best team on TV. Discover the defensive training secrets of America's finest baseball school in an exciting videotape. Baseball World's Defensive Drills video features professional scout and instructor Tommy Mansky and the same revolutionary new training techniques that have produced Baseball World's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU National Championship teams. The Defensive Drills video vastly improves players' arm strength, running speed, quickness, agility, and infield and outfield defensive skills. Even coaches practice organization. Lou Pavlovich, Jr., editor of Collegiate Baseball Magazine, calls it a masterpiece, the best defensive drill video ever produced. Many professional players are excited about this videotape. Just ask Atlanta Braves superstar Fred McGriff. This is the instructional video that gets results. Baseball World's Defensive Drills video makes a great gift and benefits players of all ages and ability levels. To order your copy for only $29.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 1-800-423-2121. That's 1-800-423-2121. It really worked for me. Deep in the heart of Texas, it's indoor soccer drama. Las Vegas Dust Devils, the road team, lead the Dallas Psychics 8-7. Tried to win the Continental Indoor Soccer League Championship by the Dallas Sidekicks. They've been down all night, but they keep creeping. The fans are on their feet. Listen to this crowd. Las Vegas in the white, Dallas in the purple. This is where Vegas has to step up a little higher, get to the midfield, close in Dallas. Don't allow them to come out. Well, they have to stop playing defense. They've been doing that the last three minutes. In other words, they've got to get the ball back and control some of the game. Most definitely. Don't give it away once they get it. Maintain possession. Oscar Pizzano to Gary Young. Right card. Three minutes left in the contest. In regulation. Gary Young, like a seal, slithers upfield. Now Danny Barber looking for Sagona. Under three minutes. Oscar Pizzano comes charging in. And that could have been a tense moment for Vegas. It could have been a two minutes, but it was a good call. Challenge from behind, diving over top of Tattoo. Tattoo for the Dallas sidekicks. Nick Stavro, the block. Good block by Dan Barber. Great block. So go to upfield. Dave Reichardt has run from Fort Worth to Dallas to Arlington and back. But he's got enough speed to do it. <laughs> Tommy Cray now. This is crucial for Vegas. Maintain possession. Right now, Sagona it's in the net. Tommy Cray gets it to Bronco Sagona. Oh my goodness. Looked like a dangerous play. But who comes up big? Bronco Sagoda. Stunning. I don't know if I've ever seen one like this. The ball's crossed in in the air. Sagoda jumps, knocks it down in the back of the net. Unbelievable goal. And once again, Las Vegas goes up by two goals. Watch it again. The cross from Crane. Sagoda just gets his foot on it. Dade tried to head it out. Sagoda got there first with his foot. Had his leg wrapped around his head. Wow. We're not done. Don't move, the Grand Finale is coming your way on Prime. Stay with us. It's a whole range of things that can go wrong in golf. Slices, hooks, curves. The club would hit the ground and it wouldn't even hit the ball. I used to hit the ball with a horrendous slice. I needed some help and Golf Digest gave me the help that I needed. Golf Digest and the eight ways to a better golf game video will help you improve your golf game. If it doesn't, cancel the subscription and keep the video free. Reading Golf Digest helped me get rid of my fade. I can drive the ball greater distances. Golf Digest took me from a 15 handicap to a 6 handicap. Golfers everywhere have actually improved their game by reading Golf Digest and watching the video. They know a subscription to Golf Digest is a must for anyone who wants to be a better golfer. It really helped me to understand the techniques and the skills of the game. I think it has articles that will help everybody. So call 800-522-5333.
If your game doesn't improve, we'll send you the video and a year subscription for free. We guarantee it. There is no way you cannot improve your golf game. The only thing you lose out of this deal is a few... Have questions about the game? Your PGA professional is the expert. Hi, I'm George Strait. And I'm Robert Lindsay. You know there's a number of ways your local pro makes golf a better game for you. Through lessons, fitting you with the right equipment, tips to make your round more enjoyable, advice on the rules of the game, even ideas for great golfing vacations. He's the one with the answers. Your PGA professional. Making your golf game better, making golf a better game. The name of the game is speed. Flying on steel blades across an arena of ice, stopping on a dime. Houston has a new way of flying. They're called the Arrows, and they're Houston's newest pro team. They'll be earning their wings every day. Bringing you thrills and chills will be their goal. San Diego battles Houston Wednesday night at 7, live on HSE. Dave Johnson, Desmond Armstrong, and Craig Way back in the Lone Star State. The Las Vegas Dust Devils now lead the Dallas Psychics 9-7. to seven. We go downstairs to Craig Way. Craig? Dave, you might say it's tense jubilation on the Las Vegas bench. They know they're close now. Dallas in their first indoor title went to a sixth attacker down two goals seven years ago. And now they've got one back. through and it's nine to eight and once again a one goal game i would say tense jubilation for las vegas they still lead but dallas is not done dane has the ball in the corner plays it off of the boards pedroso comes through gets his foot on it and is a goal and dallas has gone to the sixth attacker with two minutes and ten seconds left david doyle is wearing the goalkeeper's jersey. It's essential for Vegas to maintain possession of this. Yes, put it in the corner, close him down because Doyle is not a goalkeeper. Doyle, it's headed back to him. He can handle it because it was headed. Two minutes left. One goal separates these teams. The winner is the Continental Indoor Soccer League champion. They gotta fight, they gotta fight for it. Or as you so aptly called it, they have to bite. They have to want the hunger. So that was a wasted ball right there because Bronco was in the middle of the field by himself. But you got to fight for the ball. For Dallas, they got to knock the ball around quickly. A minute 35 left. Tattoo. Intercepted by Rusty Troy. Troy, freight trains upfield. Tattoo goes down. Troy now leads the charge. Troy for Sagona. Back to Troy. A minute 19 left. That's where you want the ball on Sagona's foot. Dallas does well to recover, close down the space, and get the ball. A minute 12 left, 9 to 8 to score. Sixth attacker, David Doyle, brings it upfield. What a finish to our Continental Indoor Soccer League season. So Doyle, keep fighting. Tattoo. Nick Stavro, five traps it down. Pedros to the header, Dane, the turn, Phillips to save. If he's smart, he'll hold. Very good. 38 seconds left, and explain why. He calls the timeout. Situation where he has the ball, calls the timeout, goes to the bench, he gets the strategy from the coach, and then they start fresh and new. He's probably going to throw the ball to the corner. That's what the coach is probably going to tell him. And then he tells his team to push them in to their defensive third. Now, some of the fans are a little cheered out. Some have plenty of cheer. As you look at the Dallas Psychics dancer, look at Gordon Jago. 38.8 seconds left in this contest. 9-8 Las Vegas. That man, Di Newman, may have his first indoor title. Boy, you have to feel for him because he knows he's in a building where this doesn't happen often, where the visiting team comes in and is victorious. In fact, Dallas, in the history of the Continental Indoor Soccer League, has never lost two straight games. Well, this could be the first right here. Yeah, exactly. And this is just, just the man to get it. Guy Newman, a lot of confidence. He, he instills a lot of confidence amongst his teammates. His team, I'm sorry. And they're going to go out here and try to win it for him. Back for the timeout. It'll be a throw in from Las Vegas. David Doyle, the sixth attacker. For Dallas. You look at Brett Phillips. If 
they're smart, they'll throw the ball over to Bronco Sagoda. Look at this. Shots this quarter. Las Vegas 12, Dallas 24. They have been under siege. Sellout crowd here at Reunion Arena. Every ticket was sold. There were no cop tickets, no freebies available. Scalpers wanted 100 bucks for them. Brad Phillips puts it in play. Headed four by Sagoda. 35 seconds left. 32 seconds. David Doyle. Is there another Dallas miracle? Dave Reichardt. Reichardt, the ricochet coming through. Brad Phillips to save on Pedroso. Great save. Mark Carlin, the shot. David Doyle. 12 seconds left. Doyle hopefully lofts it forward. Headed out by Rusty Troy with eight seconds left. Tense moments right here. Wow. Tense moments. Pedroso came storming through and almost tied this game. Eight seconds left, 9-8 to the score. Las Vegas leads Dallas. Stavro goes to the header now. Eric Dade, no three foul. seconds. Dade, Doyle the shot. The game's over, Las Vegas. The Dust Devils are the Continental Indoor Soccer League champions for 1994. Look at this guy. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable. Las Vegas lost game one. 10 to four. They've come back and won games two and three. And look at Guy Newman. I think he's ready to suit up. Unbelievable. The Las Vegas Dust Devils are the Continental Indoor Soccer League champions. And they are celebrating in Dallas. We're coming back. The final Las Vegas 9, Dallas 8. It was oh so close. Healthy life where he felt rewarded and was always learning. Encyclopedia Britannica presents a parent's wish list. I think it's every parent's dream maybe to have a doctor in the family. Every parent has a wish list for their child, and with the help of the new Encyclopedia Britannica, many of those wishes can come true. Encyclopedia Britannica is the finest home learning program in the world. A 32-volume family reference library that will give your child an important advantage all through the school years. To get more information on the new Encyclopedia Britannica, call for this free color booklet now. And just for previewing Encyclopedia Britannica in your home, you'll get this handsome three-volume desk reference set as a free gift. Our wishes are that he just lives up to the potential that he has. Now you can use your home computer to get even more from Britannica. Call now for your free booklet and details about the new Britannica CD. Call 1-800-522-5333. Dave Johnson and Desmond Armstrong along with Craig Way back in Dallas, Texas, the Las Vegas Dust Devils are the Continental Indoor Soccer League champions and they are celebrating on the carpet at Reunion Arena. They might be, be celebrating at home, but they feel right at home all of a sudden on the Reunion Arena carpet. As we take a look at the Gatorade play of the game brought to you by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. When you're thirsty, it's got to be Gatorade. And why not? The game winning goal, Desmond Armstrong. Crane gets the ball. He plays it in the air. Broncos will go to comes through in the air. Looks like a dangerous play, but he gets his foot to the ball, back of the net, and a goal. Wrapped around Eric Dade's head, Bronco Segura puts it in the net. From a different angle again, he gets to the ball first before Dade can get his head to it, and it's a goal. That's a good point, because Dade actually was coming in after Segura was charging to the ball. So Bronco Segura with the game winner tonight is the Las Vegas Dust Devils. Defeat the Dallas Psychics 9-8. to eight. And the Bronco Segura also has now been named the most valuable player of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Championship Finals. We're coming back with more from Dallas, the trophy presentation, so stick around. 